Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 <laughs> games. Uh, today is not the newest games, we're playing older games. And the games we're playing are games that have not been updated in a long time and have not been finished and have not been released but I wish they would. <laughs> um, these are games dating back like um, one or two years that haven't been updated. And heh, heh, Darcy's fed me nuts, and um, <laughs> and the little pieces are getting stuck in my throat. It's perfect. Um, Don't eat the ones with shell on them. Uh, I know that's the ones I want. Yeah. Um, these are ones that date, story. date back like um, I know dead cat cam. <gasps> dead cats. Yeah, we'll get that going in a second. It's always something. <laughs> And that's the least worst thing that that's could happen. That's what you happen. come to look for, is the, <laughs> the troubleshooting and the, oh, live, oh, the worried looks. <laughs> the live troubleshooting. <laughs> that's what keeps people coming back. And the fear sweat. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are games that are super awesome. Like, super, super awesome. That haven't been updated in like one or two years. And we're looking back at them going, okay, what's the latest going on with them? Why haven't they been updated and playing them? Because they're super awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully this will be uh, an encouragement to the developers to take another second look at them. Um, but maybe they just don't have time to do it. We shall take a look at them. But today we're going to be playing Chaotic Grill, which is a Burger Time port. A which? Burger, Burger Time. Burger okay, Time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Spies in the Night 2. Uh, which is actually completed, but not released. Oh. Uh, Robo Mechanic. Mm, I remember that one. Yep. And uh, Paranoid, which is a um, kind of uh, Arkanoid breakout game, mm -hmm. paddle game. Mm -hmm. uh, all of them are amazing. Um, and somebody is doing some lawn maintenance. I know that I've seen him before. He's very, very quick. He's super quick. Isn't he? Also, it's a positive sound. It's someone working hard and That's like right. cleaning accomplishing things, up, things making, accomplishing things, making the neighborhood look good. You just They've got a to-do list and they're like checking it off. Oh yeah. Um, Metal Lunar says seven says good idea to provide that encouragement by playing them. Um, and some of them are like, uh, oh, what's what? What do I have to improve left? I don't know. There's little tweaks and stuff, and maybe we can. Uh, Gives them some pointers like, oh, that's not quite right or mm -hmm. whatever. And or we'll suggest things and it'll make them mad and they'll be like, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll make this game finish it how I want it finished. That's and then right. uh, we'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh. And um, the thing that kind of prompted this theme for the show and, and Thrust brought it up there. It says, uh, worked for me because we played Robot City on the show. And that was one of uh, Thomas's games, mm. uh, Thomas Yanch. And uh, it's it was a game 15 years in the making, almost. And it just got released. Like, just got released into people's hands like about a week or so ago. All the new Sweet. games are coming out. So I thought, you know, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Um, so these are some uh, fun games. We'll see about uh, repeat lightning. That's right. It's, it's probably not going to work, but yeah, you could try. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling to Darcy's left virtually. 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Fur, Arms Car Coder, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Chive 574, Coconut 81, Dan ABC, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Jedekiah, Johnny WC1, Yorada, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mr. Zarno with Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Pack Rap, VG, Quag, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Maria, S. Ramirez. 2008, the D Train Welshman 89, Diki Dan Kate, TM Events, Trek MD, and I know this guy just resubscribed Drexel up here. Mm -hmm. And somebody else, 8 Bit Swami, also resubscribed before the show. Thank you so much. Crossbow, yes, the Sophias are back in stock at uh, um, TBA, so I wanted to upgrade, and I was talking with Crossbow about it. Upgrade my. XEGS, which is an Atari 8-bit consoleized version. Okay. Um, so you can plug cartridges in it, and it has a has a keyboard and everything. Actually, you can attach disk drives as well if you wanted. Uh, One twelve each. Yeah, pricey, but eh, what do you do? That's what they are. 
uh, <laughs> and also upgrade my 5200 as well. Mm. So I can play all the 5200 games because I have one joystick already. Somewhere. Uh, somewhere around here. And, and a joystick on order as well. One is analog and one is a digital joystick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you I have some adapters that. as well. So I'm going to upgrade my four port 5200 just in case there's some good four port games, which there are. Um, and in upgrade my Intellivision as well. Hmm. All to RGB or digital. And I was going to say, yeah, so that it plugs so, in. Yeah, that's yeah cool. exactly. And mm -hmm. uh, the Sophia's are actually DVI outs. Um, so they are actually digital outs, hmm. which is which is cool. And then you just get an adapter to HDMI. Yeah. HDMI is kind of the, the standard. Yeah. Um, but they appear to be RGB, YUV, VGA, and DVI ICU in you could have separate outs. So, yeah, I would probably want an RGB and a DVI, probably, because RGB is pretty accepted in the upscaler world, and then DVI is just HDMI adapted. So, seems overkill, though. Yeah, I don't think I need all those. And VGA is analog, so... Um, and I'm not going to be plugging into a monitor, so I don't think VGA would be the way to go. Uh, VGA was more like for the the 8-bit computer system. Then you probably would want a VGA output, so you could plug mm -hmm. a monitor into it. But yeah, um, so I'll probably uh, get one of each of those. Um, the first time you played Chaotic Grow really pushed me to work on it. Splendid Nut says. Um, so we've got a bunch of people in the chat, including two of the developers, if I'm not mistaken. We've got RC70, Crossbow, Packrat VG, Op Bocal, Splendid Nut, Thrust, Metal Lunar, Jared Gray West, who uh, is the developer for Spies of the Night 2, uh, Danny VC, we've got Drexel, oh, we've got you in person, Al Nefer, uh, else who else 8-bit swami and splendid nut who is the developer of chaotic grill um i'm pretty darn pleased with the results i get with my low budget s video output i have in mind when the uav provides excellent s video output as well better than the 700 as an example so yeah i've got a uav upgrade in that for the s video because 7800 does not have rgb upgrade yet so we'll hope hopefully it'll come out um so let's get to the mail. I actually have some mail to open here. What is it? It is all the way from Poland. What could it be? Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Too much knife. Way too much knife. Uh, let's, uh, what should I open it? I think it's there. I think it's along the cross beams. No. No. It's the ends. Don't show that end. Didn't censor it. There? There's some there. Oh. Something there. Yeah. And along the way. Oh, there is. I think I got it. Oh, well, at least. Yep. Yeah, you were right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what I can get. And if I am correct, which I know I am, this is an 8 bit game that uh, we'll be playing on the XEGS. I don't think this is a personalized letter. This is just a standard letter. Yeah, pack, pack and slip. Not interesting. Oh yeah. Don't cut your leg off when you're doing that. If you do it, try not to. We're recording it, and so you'll make it onto uh, like Darwin Awards or something. That's right. Live stream fails on uh, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely make it on there. Somebody cuts open their leg live. Okay. It says, The Last Squadron Travel Box Security Sticker. Well, that makes me not want to cut it, but I already did. Oops! Oh. The security has been broken. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if I broke it or not, because I didn't see myself cut through it. I saw a giant knife in your hands cutting along a line of that. And actually, this is a good time to get the cat cam going. How would you have gotten it open without breaking the seal? You were just going to leave it in there forever? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here, you can Problem be the camera solved. guy. Uh, let's get the cat cam. Where is the cat cam? Boom. 
let's switch over to that. So, we have got, you can see your, what you're focusing on there. We've got a hat, the last squadron hat. There we go. A little uh, golden uh, sewn airplane. So this mm -hmm. is proper stitching, very nice. Um, it's got this thing at the top that if you smack it, it hurts your head a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't like those, but that's the standard. Yeah. There we go, the last squadron. A new extended version of the ABBUC 2020 winner. Um, game for the 8-bit Atari computers. And then some Polish, which I cannot read. Uh, anything else on the box? Nope, just the security sticker. Uh, Last Squadron, uh, can't read that. The Last Squadron is an extended version of the game that won International Competition ABBUC Software Contest 2020 after it was named the Game of the Year. It comes back in a new, more exciting version. Get ready for more enemies, more levels, and three game modes. The Last Squadron was called the best Atari shooter by Retro Borsuk from Rit... Oh, I can't say that. Dear player, the, Atari, the cartridge version that you're holding in your hands requires an 8-bit Atari computer with minimum 48K of RAM. It's got so some screenshots. the way you were holding it, it was... Shiny, shiny? It was shiny, so it, you could see it, and you could see James talking. Oh, wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a good bonus. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so let's open this up. And make this into Nicely. a cat cam again. There's a cat. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh those that's are... No! Bad cat. Bad cat. You can't. That not. I'm. I'm gonna save that nut for last. <laughs> you nut. That's a special nut now. Okay. And then we've got this one. Hello, you're famous too. My name is Pixel. I am a black and white cat. I like to bite my brother. I like treats. But I, I won't ring. But this I won't ring it. a bell for the treats. This is my tail. <laughs> That's close up cat cam. Well, <laughs> we've got a cat cam operator today, so we're very lucky. Meow. And then what do we say? We say meow. Nothing. We just look at the nuts that we want to eat. <laughs> lick, lick, lick. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. That looks so back, good. back to the game. We're opening it up. <laughs> oh, okay. A slip cover, is that how you would refer so. to it? Yeah. Oh, I think this is a poster. Poster slash comic strip. Yep. In Polish, and luckily for me, in English. Are you drinking again? I cannot watch this sober. <laughs> what do you mean? Aliens are cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're like destroying the world. <laughs> Everything is destroyed, sir. There's our last plane. Arg Army. <laughs> is that it? Attention, attention. Start the mission. The last squadron. You can do it. Luckily, you have a new mega stick. Well, that is a very large joystick. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Uh, ooh, an unboxing. Yes. And the manual... Here we go. Is that in? If anyone's feeling sick from my uh, camera work, just note that this is it's surprisingly difficult because the center of the camera isn't where I have to keep the camera because yeah. <laughs> otherwise you won't see it. So wobbly wobbly. Um, so we'll go through this when we're going to be playing it. Um, and Also, you're welcome for all the feelings that I've given you. <laughs> Kind of a greenish military, greenish, I'm yeah, guessing that's what green. they're going for. Very nice. Yeah, no, um, looks good. Cartridge. Yeah, so we'll be playing that in an upcoming show. Probably on, like, um, Thursday, Tuesday or Friday next week, most likely. And we'll Those pair it socks. We'll pair it with uh, another 8-bit game. Yeah. <laughs> Cat was not happy. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me a, uh, he's giving me a stink eye. He's watching me eat the nuts. Oh, and he wanted to eat the nuts. He's like, how come you can eat the he's nuts? He's like, I just wanted I one. Eat the nuts. I didn't even want to eat it. I just wanted to lick the salt off of all of the nuts in the bowl. Just, just a little lick, just a tiny lick. <laughs> uh, so uh, 
very excited about that. Um, so next Tuesday or Friday, just watch the schedule for that. We'll see when we'll be playing it. Um, somebody commented on one of the YouTube videos, Jose and Ag Agundas, or Josie, Jose. Uh, we need some software for the RetroArch of the 7800 with HSC and also XM Expansion Module Emulator. Um, RetroArch is like the, the thing that's included on like Raspberry Pi, RetroPie enclosure things. Mm -hmm. um, and usually they include a bunch of different operating systems or different consoles that you can that have emulators on the on there. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the emulators are very old versions of them. And I took a look at uh, RetroArch on GitHub, and it looks like it hasn't been updated in six years. So all the new advancements for homebrew have not been included on there and he's he said the hsc and xm expansion module have not been emulated as well and some games utilize those and then i looked at the state of 2600 emulation and they do use stella um, on it and it's only at version 3.73 which is from nine years ago october 26 2012 so people playing on the retro prize can't really unfortunately play the latest and greatest 2600 games mm. with like a cdfj so all of like uh, john shampoo's games it's like nope it's, it's not gonna work huh. just to do nothing so hopefully that gets sorted out and they can play all the newest games i'm sure most people who are using raspberry Pis. and what is it that's missing to make them work um the emulator's just not up to date like but what has that. changed that makes it need to be up to date? Um, there's different uh, memory organization schemes and expanded memory. So the bigger games... Because it's not hardware emulation. It's uh... the, no, no, those are not hardware emulation. Those are software emulation. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. And using Stella, and that's a, a software emulation. Um, I, eventually, there's going to be more um hardware emulating um boxes out there um i mean i i have a couple of them um but there's not one that emulates everything really well yet how I about think... you emulate it by making a, a chip that does exactly what the previous chip did yeah and then <laughs> replicate never mind that's just re remaking <laughs> that's that's Atari. hardware emulation that's uh <laughs> oh i can't remember the name of it right now What's what's what what are those um, chips called? Anybody in the crowd, help help me out. Anyway, they do exist, and you um, chip making is expensive and difficult right now. FPGA, that's what I was looking for. So they have FPGAs, uh, field programmable gate arrays, that emulate exactly the hardware. Like so, if it runs on the hardware, then it will run. Uh, there's one thing great about RetroArch. It supports run ahead, virtually removing the perceived input delay from modern system. Feels like you're playing a CRT TV, so I guess there's a great advantage there. Um, but they're like the uh, Phoenix, ColecoVision Phoenix, uh, that I have on the cupboard up there. That has an FPGA. The cupboard he's pointing at it has a like... glass cover, but it's like. <laughs> Not deeply, <laughs> deeply tinted. It's super so, tinted. <laughs> you might as well be pointing at a blank wall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you're not missing out any more than I am. <laughs> Let me get it out. Yeah, the Collector Vision Phoenix right here um, has an FPGA in it. So it's able to emulate the ColecoVision perfectly, as mm. perfect as the person who programmed the FPGA. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a 2600... Um, core they call it that you can load onto it huh. so that it can emulate the 2600 perfectly as well and they have the same cartridges uh no but you can load um on ah, sd card gotcha, yeah, yeah so it will think that there's a cartridge in there um and you can plug controllers in here and has uh, hdmi output without it needing mm. conversion which is super no, cool so this great. is this is a nice little box um uh, and that's why I bought it. And it has a, a number of other cores as well. But they need to be, you know, perfectly updated and everything like that. And, and I think the 2600 one is, is quite good. 
quickies. I'll put that back up there to collect some more dust. <laughs> uh, so, we are going to get into the first game, which is Chaotic Grill. Oh, I was going to lose. Were you? I was about to guess. <laughs> Now, there was two things on the screen there that you could guess from, and one of them is correct. The little icon is correct. So there's your weapon. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I, I know that icon's wrong plenty <laughs> of time. Plenty of the time. Lots of... often. Often? Often wrong. So this is by Splendid Nut, who is in the chat. Um... So I reached out to all of the developers. Are you a day off? No, I was just checking the date, make sure I was going on the right file and I didn't get in trouble. But I took too There's long only and, one and I still drew a comment. <laughs> There's only one date on there as well. I, I, just, I, <laughs> I know. You've drawn iron. Draw, drawn iron. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic Grill, everyone. Yes, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Oh, I had it muted. There was a little ditty. Should we do it again? Sure. Nope. Have to load it again. So, this was Ready. first... <laughs> first posted <laughs> December 15th, 2015. So, it's uh, almost six years in the making. Which... You know what's funny? I was going to say... I was going to say, oh, I remember, I thought I remembered this, but that didn't seem that long ago. But it was, in fact, that long ago because COVID has just sort of <laughs> deleted, you know, part of took, the time. It took a big chunk and went, whew. I keep, <laughs> my, my wife and I went uh, drove up north on a, a short vacation yep. uh, in September of 2019. And I keep, like, my brain keeps telling me that was last year. It's permanently last it's year. permanently last year. <laughs> Even though, no, last year, well, last year we didn't do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, to that point, this is from 2019. <laughs> I know, that's why I, I saw it, and I was like, oh, no, we really did just play this. Yeah. If you delete the data that does not apply. <laughs> um, so this is by Philip Blackman, uh, Splendid Nut, 32K game. He's also made Chaotic Grill. Well, Chaotic Grill. And Paint the City. And he's also starting on a Congo Bongo um, port as well. This build is from August 18th, 2019. So we played it just after that. Um, so he posted on July 8th, uh, after uh, talking about a compiler he's working on. Um, after development had stalled out sometime July 2020 on the compiler, my focus shifted towards game projects. First Chaotic Grill, then Paint the City, with some proof of concept working on Congo Bongo, both for the 2600 and 7800. My focus had been jumping between all those projects till about April when my focus shifted back to, shifted back to developing the compiler, now dubbed Neolithic C. Um, so you can jump into it and get it going. So I reached out to all four developers of these games. No! There you go. Throw some pepper in their face. I was very scared. Um... So remember, if you trap... Oh, don't waste your pepper. Nope. Um, if you... I'm just proud that I remember to use pepper at <laughs> That's all. True. That's true. <laughs> if you trap them under the burger, the burgers will fall further. Um, if you trap them, well... There you go. Um, while they're following behind you, then they also fall further. Oh, danger! Oh, tricky! So, like, if you wait on the last segment of a burger top, like there, oh, you don't need to do it that time. Um, and then while they're following behind you, oh, what? I missed him. Well, he went down the, uh... Go to the middle. Ah, uh, you're out. Out of pepper. Out of pepper. So I reached out to all four developers. I got three answers back. Oh, and I'll explain the fourth one. Um, and they all, three of them got back to me about updates on their programs. So I'm going to read out um, Splendid Nuts. 
Um, yes, I know I'm not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The game will last longer. <laughs> Nostalgic um, said, wow, this lo looks and sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Especially... No, oh, hold... Oh. Wait till you're almost... Oh, yeah. Finished it. That one's a good one. Stop! Ah! Oh! <laughs> no! There, perfect. Okay, wait there! Wait. Oh. <laughs> you're not waiting on the last segment. I, I don't even know why I'm waiting on the last segment. I just know that you're yelling at me and I'm barely <laughs> surviving. I'm like... I'm like, I'm playing the game! I'm doing it! If and you're... James is like, not good enough! <laughs> Do it better! Do it better! <laughs> <laughs> Your skills are weak! Because um, if they're falling behind you, uh, you can get them to fall down with the burger piece if they're standing on part of it. Ah. So if you wait until they're... If you wait on the last segment and wait till they're on it, then they go down with it. Get that ice cream. More pepper! Uh, the person who did the sprites did a good job. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh oh. So yeah, if you remember the original 2600 version of this, um, some of the characters were like sticks, <laughs> and some of them were like flipping squares. And that's not a substitute for a swear word. They were flipping squares. Literally flipping squares. <laughs> <laughs> but this this is really 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 good. Um, so is that? The ice cream that it looks like? Uh, yeah, it's ice cream. That's true. That's correct. There you go. Oh, there you go. Got one of them. Sausage. That's good. I sausaged one of them. So, um, development on Chaotic Grill has been on a slow simmer for a while now. Huh. <laughs> the main reason uh, the stall out is all the code reworking that I want to get done, so... He wants to redo a lot of it. Since the, co since the game is a near-finished state, it's been quite a daunting task with all the code that needs... I finished the level! <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah! <laughs> Go! Uh -oh. There's no pause. There's no rest for the wicked. There's no reward for finishing a level in... an adult video game land. Oops. Uh -oh. oh my god. That was lucky. That, oh my god. Look at that point. <laughs> and they come right back. Yeah. Oh. oh no, oh, you could have got both of them. Oh. I know, I, I didn't mean to go down, it's just <laughs> that I have poor joystick control. Um... <laughs> so, if I re ignore the rework, there's only a few things that need to get done to finish the game as oh. is. The list would probably be the following. Fix the bonus item to appear based on plated burger pieces. Finish up the new title screen. Oh. Um... Add menu system with difficulty over. setting. Yeah, but you'll do it better this time. And faster. So yeah, if you go up to the top and do all the top pieces, it's much faster. If only I had the skills to do as you described. <laughs> You're getting better. Oh, oh, there is a bit of a, a shutter there. Bit of a line count issue. Um, that's actually the first one I've seen. Expand the enemy logic a bit. Make each type of enemy act a bit different. Yeah, because right now they kind of just bunch up. They kind of just go, uh, go for you. I don't know what I'm doing with this joystick! <laughs> go where I want you to go, not where you want to go. <laughs> oh, almost. You thought about it, though. Oh! <laughs> so right now they make a beeline for you. They're just like... Uh oh I think you're going to have to... Oh, there you go. Pickle. I think that's a pickle. Uh, give you a reprieve. Oh, oh. Kind of a ladder issue there. Another bit of an adult ladder issue. <laughs> Almost done the first level! With all your guys? You haven't died yet, have you? No. I died. I think I died once. Okay. And finishing other... Uh, a few other finishing tweaks on the gameplay. Uh, and the original was so much slower. 
The M network had a clever use of missiles in the ball, I'm guessing. Yeah, that is true. The squares in the original 2600 were Mr. Egg and Mr. Hot Dog, I believe. And yes, the stick was supposed to be Mr. Fry. <laughs> yeah, I remember the stick and squares, haha, <laughs> Metal Inner says. Uh, nostalgic 26. It moves surprisingly fast. I haven't seen the arcade version recently enough to remember if it was this fast. This seems like a normal arcade type of speed. Any faster. Use your pepper. There you go. That's some clever use of pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Sometimes uh, I survive uh, by accident <laughs> because the joystick uh, was on an angle. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Ah! Nobody likes you, Mr. Egg. <laughs> uh, not a really big list, he says. But the reworking kind of needs to be done. I'm already in the midst of rewriting things as I've reached a point where I'm basically out of main memory on the Atari. And the Atari doesn't have a lot of memory. It's 128 <clears throat> bytes. Bytes! Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Uh, you got them. The burger almost went to the bottom. It's good. Um, uh, to, the need to free up memory as well as the need to fix the burger code basically triggered a complete overhaul oh, of the burger logic code. I'm just salting things left, right, and center now. <laughs> I'm assaulting them. <laughs> That needs to be in the manual. <laughs> it probably is. Some some assault pun. Salt based humor. You can do it! You can do it! One more! One more! Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, the old code. Oh no! Third! Gah! <laughs> yeah, the mazes get more limited, let's say. Uh, the old code, work, code worked for the most part, but there are a couple of rare, elusive bugs that still occurred. The big issue being burgers would get stuck mid-level if too many were set in motion at a time. Oh. The old code worked by only tracking the burgers in motion. The burgers resting on the platform only existed in display memory. No, 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 no! Out of salt. Out of pepper. <clears throat> um, yeah, oh, it's uh, pepper. So with the salt pun wouldn't work. Well, now it won't. Now, <laughs> now it won't. You've, now you've, like, announced it. <laughs> well, it would be a great mistake for them to put something about salt in the... Well, you could still put something about salt, but not related to... Those fries are great. Is that a P on the fries or an F? That's a P, because it goes down. So what would that be in relation to? Pepper. Pepper fries? Well, you get pepper when you get true. them. That's true. That's true. Uh-oh. Me no know what's happening. Me no no. Me no! No, don't go up! They're up there! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, again, that's just poor uh, impulse control. So anytime the chef launched a burger, the code had to figure out what burger it was so it could create a burger object and launch it. I still got one life. Uh, this was a bit of a hack to help minimize no! memory usage. No! Dead immediately. Yeah, it's because, like, sometimes was... when I think I'm going up, I'm like this. And then when it goes to the level, it goes to the side. Mm. Because skillless. <laughs> was that level three or two? Three. Mm -hmm. See? Kicking ass. Uh, this was a bit of a hack to m help mem minimize memory usage, but could easily get out of order, causing havoc in the game. So last summer, I spent a few days completely re rewriting Burger Logic. The new system stores all the information about the pe burger pieces in DPC plus memory. Due to this and the fact that I'm not using ARM code, it takes a bit of time to process everything. I had to set up the new burger logic uh, to straddle vertical sync. This requires continuous checking of the timer to determine when the to exit the burger logic code. Mm. So that vsync can happen. After vsync is done, the code returns to continue processing the burgers. So. He is doing, um, not everything is updated every frame, which is, which is very cool. It's like, um, um, the one thing about the flashing is that sometimes it means that your, your pepper, uh, refresh is going away. And sometimes it means that there's a multiple, uh, thing around that line. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? you know, like sometimes it flashes because the game flashes. Because that's oh, how it is. Oh, I see. 
Yeah. Like, you're... It's got some... Uh... No! Flicker logic. Definitely with the guy. Oh, I think it's got flicker logic with everything. Yep, yeah, it's got good flicker logic. Mm -hmm. But yep. sometimes, like, the flickering has to happen, because yeah. it's a game and it has it. Yeah, because there's only two things could be on a line. Mm -hmm. um, so when... I think it mi keeps your dude at 30 hertz minimum at all times. Um, and then slices the rest between the other dudes on the screen. And then when only one person is on the line, it goes to 60, which is what you want. No! I think you missed that. I did. Like, just barely. That's why I said, no! Because <laughs> I was very sad. Sometimes. Darcy, Darcy improved during COVID. <laughs> Thrust says. He has gained superpowers and 5G upgrades. <laughs> no! 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 Uh, no! Let's see, where am I? This makes it a bit hard to balance the code and keep sync and scan line count rock steady. So I needed to rearrange the rest of the game logic code to try and avoid the situation. But while looking at the ways to rearrange the game logic, I usually end up running into more things that need to be reworked. <laughs> Sprite handling could definitely need some improvements, both with the flicker management and the way they're processed in general. The logic no, controlling no, enemies. No. Oh, <laughs> the logic in controlling the enemies is currently running at 30. And I'd love to optimize things to get them running at 60. I thought they were running at. No. Oh, well, he's not falling close enough to get peppered. To be peppered. Oh, he should have gone back down. I know. Uh, the display kernel Excited. could use a bit of rewrite to make it more flexible. Um. Oh, Carl G says, I'll be in and out while getting ready for a trip. Oh. Going for a trip. The big limitation right now is only one sprite can be swapped for every five scan lines on the screen. The same height and as a row of burger pieces resting on the platform. And due to how flicker management works, both sprites have to be swapped at a time, which forces the need for a gap of 10 scan lines between sprites for flicker management to work. Oh, I see Woody's. So he wants more precise flicker management. So he needs, right now he needs quite a gap to <clears throat> between the characters to make them not flicker. Ooh, that was a good smush. The good thing is they appear at the top of the screen. So if you've got the burgers down and you're smushing them, they're going to be appearing far away from you. Mm, worth it? No. Oh, 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 maybe. You survived. No, because right, you got rid I, of it. I got I danger you... because... I, I was only in danger because I went for Do you get the one or more than one? I'm going to have to look at that. I think you get more than one when you get a pepper. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no! No! Oh, all the pepper! No. All the pepper! <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it was, it was... But you survive. There's always more pepper, but not any more lives. There you go. I don't think I'm going to get it. Did I get it? Uh, yes. And it was one, I think. Oh, damn. Finish it up. Okay. Uh, lastly, I'd love it to... It needs to be noted, sorry, that this yeah. is not a good way to make burgers, by stomping on them. <laughs> nope. It is not. It is, uh, uncleanly. There you go. Smush, smush, smush. But, uh, this guy, you know, he has very clean shoes. They're covered in... That's what they always say. They all, everybody's <laughs> always got some excuse as to why it's okay like, for them to be gross. Can you take off your shoes in my house? Don't worry, they're clean. <clears throat> it's like, no, they were outside. They're not clean. They're filthy. They have disgusting this on them. Um, you know, he, he could... You know, people make wine by stomping on it. I know. And they're all like, my feet are clean. He's like, lies. Oh, you had a pepper. And you did not employ that pepper. I did not. Go! Go! I, oh, I, I was looking at the chat, and then so instead Did you of... just get an extra life or no? Hmm. Oh, you're looking at the chat. Oh, that's going to kill you. Looking at the chat? Yeah. Ah! You have no more pepper, by the way. Okay. I'd love to expand uh, Chaos Grill beyond it just being a Burger Time port. 
Currently, there's quite a bit of space remaining in the ROM, and I've got a few ideas I'd like to implement. Uh, Wishlist, beyond no. the basic arcade no. conversion port. An in-game level editor in progress. That's awesome. Currently, I have a prototype working as a separate ROM. Eventually, I'd like to integrate into the main ROM. And I... Oh, oh my god. Oh, go up. Yep, there you go. No! Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> joystick issues. <laughs> what? No, it wasn't a joystick issue. It was a poor decision. I decided I was going to make that guy fall with the food. And Hopefully. Then I didn't notice quickly enough there was another guy to murder me. And then Ho he murdered me. Hopefully, if you implement, which I hope you do, the uh, level editor that you open it up before you finalize the game so that people can make some cool levels and you can include them in the game as bonus levels outside of the arcade version. Mm. It's like user submitted levels. Like um, like was done with Draconian, where he had a whole section of levels. Um, and one of my levels made it onto the cartridge. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, it's always a cool thing when you have, can have a game with extra levels. All of Dark Darcy's burgers are over peppered. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, true, it does how make much, it on. Do, it depends on Oh, oh, go down. Oh, joystick issues. <laughs> it's always best to blame the joystick <laughs> when you're not very good. <laughs> uh, eventually, I'd like to integrate more levels. With that level editor... Oh, it says it on the next line. With that level editor, I could see community-created levels to help expand out the game. Good idea. Extended game mode. I'd like to include an extended mode in addition to the regular arcade mode, which would have bonus items with different uh -oh. effects on the player, enemies, and environment. Oh, you're fine. Got lots of pepper, too. Oh, what was that? I don't know, but it was... It, that was it, weird. It, it almost it was killed like, me. Ah. I got very it scared. Was jumping. It's jumping. Mm. Mm. Oh, there you go. I get some pepper... I press it too slow. Too slow. Um, too slow. Which would... Uh, bonus items with different effects on the player, enemies, and environment. The current ideas for that item effects would be coffee. Supercharges the player for a bit. Oh, that would be cool. A fast moving. Uh, or an invulnerability. Ice cream. Freezes the enemies for a bit. Very cool. French fries. Fry projectiles instead of pepper. So you could actually, like, shoot the enemies. Nice. Lots of pepper now. There's no time limit on this level. So, you, theoretically, you could load up on pepper by just leading these guys around. Yeah, the I... The big square. I thought, I thought that's what I was going to do there, and then I ended up having to use one because I went to get that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. If you're using the pepper while you're getting the pepper, that is not. Uh... I always wanted to use save key to store levels created. Yes. Yeah. That would be cool. Um, depends how Very compact bad. you can get it down to. Really. Very bad. Squish, 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 squish. Uh, okay, continuing on. Uh, these bonus effects would add for, uh, last for a limited time, obviously. Potential to add more bonus items with more effects. Uh, have these bonus items appear in random places in the level rather than the standard center place. Uh, maybe include a few different music tracks. I mean, this music's good, but it is one piece of music for the whole game over and over again. That would be a good idea. Final thoughts. At this point, I'm really not sure whether I want to pursue these ideas. Oh, please, 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 please. Or just try and get the game finished as is now. Oh, do the ideas. I think when given the option of making a good game versus making a awesome or great game later on, I would always opt for the awesome and uh, game that takes a little bit longer. It's coffee break. Oh, the coffee's not nope. going nuts. There you go. I've, I've lost... Whatever control I had of the joystick has recently left me. <laughs> it's gotten worse. <laughs> just like, I'd improved, and then no, then it went away. It ah! was like, 
a curve. It was like, good, good, good. Oh, it's getting worse again. Oh no, you're trapping yourself. Oh, get that coffee. Nice, squish. Now they're all back at the top and you can complete it with no problems. Or little problems. Or some problems. Ah, yay. Um, Sometimes I've been tempted to start from scratch, especially with the work I've been doing on my compiler. See the blog. One of my early ideas was, with this project was to write it in C or Pascal, then port it over to assembly language, but that never came to fruition. Other than the very simple movement demo I wrote around the early days of figuring out the chef movement code, other times I've been tempted to just put the source code out there and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see. Thrust votes for finish it as... Finish it, uh, uh, finish as it, finish it as it is first, and then decide if you want to extend. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure about that one. Oh, they're all in a row. There, lead them to that burger. Oh, weak. Oh, nice. That's the other option. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, because then, I mean, you can make. Yeah, you could make like. The burger time and then burger time deluxe. Burger time no! ex extended. That's true. The number you would get back with B too many hex digits. Oh my goodness. Here's a crazy idea. You could add a QR code in the game and make it a level editor as part of a web page. After someone edits a level online, it would come back a number you would input back into the game and generate the first level. That way it would be super simple to share levels and create a new content. Um, that's not bad, but then said, and said, somebody said, um, the number you would get back with, uh, would be too many hex digits to no! realistically input. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot. <laughs> no! Are the levels that complex? I think it's viable. Well, th there's a lot going on here. You have to specify where each of the burger pieces are. Go! And... I keep getting confused by the finished burgers being where it seems like it would be a level. Oh, yeah. Each of the burger pieces, each of the ladders, <clears throat> they're asymmetrical as well. Nice. Oh, too late. Uh, also, oh, it doesn't... Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's the doesn't weird go thing. all the way down. I got fooled again. Fool me once. <laughs> <laughs> I will also be fooled again uh, the same way because I'm stupid. The other option... Stop it! As well, this would have to be a more open game. I finished level three! Is that you could <laughs> make... Go, go, go! Oh! Oh! This is no. like staggered line. This one, no! No! Up. No. no. Unacceptable. <laughs> um, Who made this? You can make the level editor. Get it? Oh, you could have squished a whole bunch of them. Oh, you could have squished a whole bunch of them. I could, but uh, you forget. I have no skills. <laughs> um, and then you could download a binary. Oh. Uh, and then play the binary. But that wouldn't work with a finished game on cartridge. You would have to have some sort of way to input the game. Oh, a little jump there. I see a random dot. Oh, it must have been the last level. Or use the plus card to download the levels. That's another option. Those wow. Cats. I hear trouble. Um, no! Recalling the multi-page hex dumps and compute cassettes was used to key in. I believe the hot dogs, for instance, always go no. up or down a ladder towards the player character anytime they want. They come to a ladder where the egg can skip, I think, one ladder when traveling across the screen. Mmm. I'm sure there's oh some... Um, oh my. Burger oh no! <laughs> Burger time rules posted somewhere. Probably not as, you know, people know the, the rules for Pac-Man. No! Why'd you go up? The standard reason! You can... <laughs> My turn. Oh, basically, the standard reason is the reason always. Yes, pausing between levels would be super awesome. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> because Darcy thinks there's a pause, and he looks at the chat. Or I stick a, but there isn't a, a salty pause. thing in my mouth. That's right. 
Even there, if there wasn't a pause in the arcade, which there wouldn't be, because they want your quarters. Um, it'd be good to put it in a home version. Right now, I think all of the enemies just make a beeline for you. which When uh, they have a decision to make. Yeah. yeah. Which makes them clumpy. Um, uh, I was dumb. Mm, how do they normally move? Um, just like Pac-Man, they have each guy has different rules. Mm. Right? Some some would make a beeline for you. That would be the hardest characters. And some would not. Like, they would decide not to do that. They would they would take a different path. Or they would... Like in Pac-Man, they would look ahead. And they would um, aim for something, like, above you. Or to the right of you. Or to the... Like, beyond... The direction you're looking like if you're going up they would aim for above like uh one ladder above you mm. squish 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 I guess this is the time to stock up and all the pepper i'm and not sure you can have more than seven. Oh, did you max out you think i think i did but i am not sure that i did oh, i don't know if i want to wait this long i made a foolish error pepper time pepper time Another one. Should I get it? Yes, I should. Ah! One spot too far. Let's finish off this burger. I think you can trap them. Even at the end. I don't know. Oh, There's some points showing there. Oh, yeah, so I got some points for it. Go, 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 Ah! Oh my god. Squish. Yeah, they do have weird, they do make weird decisions sometimes. Seemingly weird decisions, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it's wrong, just, but I don't, I don't always know why, what I did wrong. Oh. I guess is, uh. What's the chat saying? Anything about two player mode? Oh yes, two player mode, please. Well, in general, like two player simultaneous mode? Mm hmm Oh yeah, that would be so. Someone's suggesting you could pepper each other. <laughs> 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 to to make them pause? <laughs> to stun the other player? Yeah. You might as well. Like, <laughs> like you don't have to stun the other player. I mean player. you'd have to call that dick mode. Yeah. Like you don't have to play. Or D bag as, mode, because yeah. Because you can play co-op, or you could turn it around and not play co-op. Well, Dick is swearing. You could call it penis mode. <laughs> the anatomically uh, accurate, scientific. Oh no! Oh 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 my God! That was close. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Everybody, go to the right. Thank you. Now I. Clear path, because they're all up there. Did I see? Yeah, there's been a number of screen shakes. On purpose? No, 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 oh. no definitely not on purpose. Accident. But apparently, you can do that though. You can do screen. If it happened yeah. by mistake, then. Yep, yeah, you can do it on purpose. Um, if you want an effect in a game and shake the screen, which can be a very cool effect. Miss them. And you just have to make sure it looks like you didn't do it on purpose, though. <laughs> well, it won't look like you do, did it by mistake if it happens consistently at the times that it's supposed to happen. That's true. If something explodey happens, then screen shake would be perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. Like something ex exploding, or I don't know. Or you're, you die and the screen shakes. I don't know. I want that. I want it. Oh, I'm not going to get it, though. Oh, there's too many guys. Stay down. No, no down, down. Good, 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 good. They did. I'm going to get it. It's still on the screen. Why is it flashing? No because need. it's in line with them. No, no. Mm. It was way sometimes, down. Sometimes it flashes when they're there. And sometimes it flashes... Be That's what I'm saying. Sometimes mm. you can't tell if it's almost running out. Oh. Because, you know, if, if, like it, 
I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that, <laughs> no. like, the fact that they're flashing sometimes. He's not flashing. And there it flashed as uh, they get on the same screen. That's true. Because yeah. he said there's like 10 pixels that uh, away that he has to start flashing right now because of timing issues. Oh, there was an extra pixel there of red. But that could be my system. Because mine has some timing issues. Uh, you can have more than seven. <laughs> At least nine. Uh, I think... I don't we'll know see if I was if, looking. We'll see if that goes up some more. Ah! There's an extra issues. pixel there. Color pixel there. There is. That's probably my system, but maybe not. Actually, that's pretty far away. Okay, we'll see. A. It says A. So it goes in the hex hexes. Does that mean all? Rather than you two have digits. all of the pepper? or does All that... the pepper. Infinite pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I have A peppers. Yeah, there's a ton of just-in-time and playfield updates. The egg looks awesome. Actually, they Eggs. all look good, but the egg in particular, just like, I just know, because when I saw the egg before, oh, I was too God. busy saying, no! Yeah, and the so egg with the, with the, <laughs> one, appreciate it. the one eye and the wobbly yeah, yeah. wobbly head is really great. Oh, God. I squish you. Oh, I missed you. And squish, and get that. Oh, I didn't Back get B. A. Oh, di I did use one. Yeah. That's right. Sorry. You just used another one now. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Whoa! He got them all! Whoa! Oh, there's a screen. I, I think that screen shake was on purpose. Uh. You killed no. them all. <laughs> That's right. That's your reward. Big old screen shake. Give it I want to get to B. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die trying to get to B. But... No, 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 no. Well, I mean, you can die, but don't, like, lose the game trying to get to B. <laughs> but four lives, so... Oh. Okay, oh boy, okay. <gasps> Gotta say, these are some, uh... Pretty good-looking burgers down there. Look at how many levels of layers they got. Get up there, quick, 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 B, B, baby! That A is all of them, and B is Booyah. Booyah! More than all of them. Booyah Burgers. Booyah Burgers! That was a good burger name for a restaurant. <laughs> you can have that one for free. <laughs> this level really taxes the burger system. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use up my, my extra one. Let's get C. Uh, oh no, you're at B, so... Yeah, I'm at A now, because I had to use one up. Sadly... Oh, and another one. That's and not a real... One. The one that you salted one that was, like, stunned. Do you have to salt them then? Uh, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. I was very scared. Of course that... you were scared. You're you're not an insane person. <laughs> oh! There's the pepper. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to? I don't want to. It's too frightening. It's oh. all the way up there where they're not. It's... You're down to seven peppers. I can't believe how few peppers you have. <laughs> you don't even have B... You don't even have A there. peppers. You yeah. don't even have A peppers. What? Oh, they don't always appear at the top. The sausages. No, they start where they where they start. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to use one. Well, have to. What comes after F? It probably keeps going <laughs> to zero. I guess. We're not complaining about that. Or do you lose it all and it goes? Yeah, you have zero. You have zero, zero, zero peppers. Oh, that would be, That'd be uh, terrible. But then you, that, but then you use one and oh, you God. suddenly have full amount of peppers again. Uh, uh, maybe. No, it would. It would. Because you can't use one if you have zero. It would go. Do you have zero? Yes. Then you cannot use it. <laughs> Five. <laughs> this one is very few paths. It is very dangerous. Long, long, long passageways. You have to make sure you're safe. Run! No! Peppered! Oh, I could have gone back up. But... Oh, he didn't get stunned for very long. This might be the last level? I'm not sure. See, dropping those below have do, do absolutely nothing. 
Uh, sorry, say again? Like, going down and... Dropping the lower ones, like if I went down and dropped that lettuce, mm -hmm. which there's no point. Is, yeah, yeah, I get almost. I, I think you get points for you get, it, but you don't get as you don't you, get more points. I don't think you get as many points as uh, okay as if you dropped multiple, multiple, mm -hmm. multiple. I think there might be multipliers, to, yeah. but I'm not sure. I'm it working. takes more effort, and you get not more, but possibly less. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh God. So, oh my god. This leads nowhere. <laughs> that just goes to a dead end. It just goes to, maybe you can <laughs> get away here. Land. Yeah. Ooh, squish you. I squish you. I don't squish you. Oh, you can't even get over here. This is good. This is very good. It's a double-edged sword. Because yep. they can't turn around. I don't know if they turn around in the arcade. This is the fifth level. There's one more after this. Okay, well, so we get to see all of them today. Yay! So Ooh, what needs to be now. done on this? Why isn't this released? Um, is it because of the pepper thing? That's not a good enough reason. <laughs> the, the you deserve to see A if you get ten peppers. The screen shake. <laughs> um, he wants to make it better. The Do it better. The screen Come on. shake. The AI of, make it splendid, of, not of the characters. <laughs> make it more splendid. <laughs> Splendider. Yeah. But he's contemplating whether continuing this version. Why? And, wh or, why? Uh, sorry, why start over? Um, because he can add more RAM to it and um, have better. Better looking screens, like uh, they won't be flickering as and much. And that requires rewriting the whole thing? Uh, yes, it does. Oh. Because you have to re. Oh, oh god. That's it. Dead. Oh and god. This is the douchiest <laughs> level to be on. It is bad. That's yeah. like total dead end. It's and all of them were there. <laughs> Just... And so were you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad scene. You only oh. have one pepper. I have zero peppers now. Yeah. I am going to die. You were you were peppering oh, so Oh no. You were peppering so repeatedly that uh, I I my update Lost was count. out of date immediately. I have lots of lives, but that doesn't help with no peppers. Like in trouble. In trouble. Yeah. So this is the zone you need to stay in. Is no, it? not there. Not there, my friend. That this? little square zone. Because it has multiple paths. But yeah, and I can only wait until you so get some peppers. There. There's a pepper. Oh. Just, just mine peppers. Just, just. <laughs> I don't think. This pretend is going you're to... in Timbuktu. Oh, oh. This is curious. Because <laughs> they have, because they have certain directions. Yeah, that, uh, I know. But I'm just saying them. you gotta, you gotta keep the peppering. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh there's, there's a pepper. pepper. Get the pepper. Get the pepper. I think I want to stop. Don't you want to be a pepper? I do. I am a pepper. You're a pepper too. Mm -hmm. That was foolish. <laughs> but but you saved your pepper. I still retain <laughs> all my pepper powers. Oh God! Look at these dead ends everywhere. I know, right? I was just dumb. I, I'm not gonna pass this level. It is so hard. Can't believe you're not gonna pass this level. Like I can't even. Everything's on a dead end. Yeah. You have to... I think what you have to do uh, is bring them all with you when you go to the dead end and then drop them with the burger. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. You have to, in short, use your skills. Ew. But then, yeah. Yeah, no, all of them. It doesn't work when you only have one. <laughs> then you have to use... You need them all, and they all have to be together, like, super close. <laughs> Which is so easy to do. Oh. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, I still have a life? Oh, I... Yeah, you got one life. One life to live. And yep. so little left to do. Uh, and I'm going to die right now. But it's now. hopeless. <laughs> it's hopeless. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's, oh, it's I mistimed hopeless. it. I had one, Yeah, it was It wasn't left. hopeless. Yeah, yeah. That was a very, very good run, though. Tried to speed up the chef, and that made the burger logic freak out. So I... <laughs> Rewrote the burger logic, and now I need to get rid of the screen shaking that th mm. that introduced. Okay, so it's like a balance. I'm done. Um, it is super super awesome as it is. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's all about refinements. I think all these games we're playing today are at like the 90% mark. And it's always that last 10% that takes 90% of the time. Mm. <laughs> it's all the refinements and the things that make it look good. Like he hasn't, he's talking about doing the, the title screen and he needs to get that done. Mm -hmm. So I think the only thing, you could just add a little Ooh, bit of really like uh, ingredients to the title Ready. screen and it would already, like it looks good. And yeah. the only thing missing is a little example of the ingredients. Mm, like a walk like a burger or something. Or something. Or, I mean, the, the, the fall-down ingredients. Like, have a burger oh. built on one side or the other. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Have some burgers built. Um, so, hopefully, he's able to um, do one or the other. Finish this version. I vote for going, rewriting it and doing the ultimate version. Because um, I think if he rewrites it, he has a lot more room to do things depends if yeah. if you end up like if you end up happier with it then go for it but it's i think it's pretty great how it is now oh it is yeah beyond burger time <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> um, um so we're gonna be playing spies in the night too now now on zero page homebrew <laughs> That's right. spies in the night too so this is by jared gray west um, this was first posted October 3rd, 2018. We last played it April 17th, 2019. Game one. not good at this. And um, I do have the first game. This oh, this is the one where you get to decide your... Uh... Decide which puzzle you're going to do, right? So this is the first one. Spies in the Night 1. Very awesome game. This kind of expands Wait, where on do it. I need to be? Uh, hidden. In, in, in the gray? Not, yeah, in the gray. So you can't be seen. Oh, okay. By you I, or I the spotlight. It. The opposite. I was doing the opposite. I like, purposely stopped where I could be seen. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, it expands. It kind of takes one of the mini games and then adds... And they have to stop moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you played this? Not this one, no. Not this one, okay. I saw you guys. Apparently, stop I moving. didn't stop quick enough. There's a bit of slowdown. Like, he doesn't stop immediately, which is, you know, it's better. And this came in an amazing, you know, package. The look of both of these games. Ooh, plus 15. More time. Good choice. No, get do? out of there. Go up. What do I do? Up or press button or something. Or just keep going to the right. There you go. Oh my. <laughs> I lost all my 15 seconds I got pretty, there. Pretty much. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get out of that room. And as you increase the levels, the puzzles get harder. Like that was faster. Mm -hmm. Eventually there's going to be two of them. It's brutal. 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 But it's it's essentially a midi uh, a mini game compilation. No. Oh, so I need to be in the opposite of the last time? Yes. Remember, there's a bit of a slowdown. And pressing down, I think, or the button, hides you. So you better practice that. So you can duck. Duck? Oh, that was so close. I know. One pixel off. I, I know. I thought either I did that <laughs> the best I could do it, or death. Please. No! Ah. You're trying to maximize your time. This one's not too bad, because they're moving together. Um, so, I reached out to uh, uh, Jared, Greg West, um, about the status of Spies in the Night 2. Oh! Yeah, don't hit the thing. There's three things! Yes. <laughs> the, this game doesn't have lives. It has time. So you can die as many times as you like, but you're, you know, you run low on time. No, the timing. The timing is difficult. I'm going to die here! <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is get as close to it as you can, and then when the opportunity goes... Boom. No! No, not when it's beside you. I know. It's like, my brain is not sinking. You can do it. No! <laughs> for some, why, do I, why do I go when it's down? You get lots of practice. That is not the time. What? What? Oh, when you're not moving, it can't hurt you too? I think you've discovered a very, very rare case of being under that. 
because that's hard to do. <laughs> Again, maybe not as hard. Not hard to do. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! Um, he said, "Thanks for showing Spies Two on the upcoming ZPH show. That's awesome. Spies Two is still scheduled to be released. First, no. first in a limited edition box by Scott Dayton." And this was a limited edition uh, version as well. It came with a whole bunch of bonus extra goodies inside. Very spy-like goodies. It came with fake money, and spy glasses, and some other stuff. <laughs> you have 17 seconds. No! Uh, no! Now you're just done. I'm just going. I'm just going. <laughs> going for it. You know, it's that, like I've done better. Since I started just going for it, I've done better than when I was trying. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know why I'm having difficulty with the thinking. It's just a little too fast for me, I guess. It, that is a fast thing. Um, I've seen the box art. Oh, wait till you're done. Finny. I'm playing again. I think you should. It's the worst. Uh, he says, I've seen the box art that he commissioned, and it looks amazing. After the limited release, Albert has expressed interest in putting it in the Atari Age store. So there'll be a limited release through uh, Neo Games, and then an unlimited release through Atari Age, possibly. Uh, there's been some delay. Last I heard, Scott was having trouble sourcing cart boards and EEPROMs, which is not surprising. There's a limited supply of lots of electronics um, due to the pandemic and also due to that boat being stuck in the canal. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where it just went sideways and blocked the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. And that was like a major route in the world. And they had to sail oh, around yeah. Africa. Yep. The bottom of Africa. If they could. If they weren't already stuck in the in the canal. Yeah. Um, so that just put everything behind. Like two weeks? I can't remember how long it was. It was a long time. And left and right are two different um, things. So if you're better at... So if you're better at one than the other... But where am I supposed to be? There. Like right there. Where I am now? Yeah. yeah. It always starts you where you're supposed to be. Um, due to the chip shortage in Asia, there's been uh, hard to come by. Albert was finishing up a big batch of games for the Atari Age store. Then Scott thought he might be able to get some components from Al. So hopefully that will come to fruition. Uh, but yeah, it's been delayed for a while. The plan is still for a physical cart... And boxed release sometime, but I don't have a firm date on that yet. No. But I think this game is just brilliant. The variety of mini games that you have, and they increase in complexity. Mm -hmm. Like each one of these mini games, well, I think the one going back and forth is um, probably the my favorite. Oh, this one's a good one. You got lucky. <laughs> Did you hear him trash talking me? I, I could use some more encouragement. Go, no, I Darcy. can't actually. Go encouragement is, has like a weird effect of like just <laughs> shutting me down. Yeah. So this is like a um, spinning. Oh my god! <laughs> you slid into that. Going whoosh. <laughs> I did intend to do that, but I don't deserve uh, well, to have succeeded. Well, sixty. Wow. Now the layout... I don't like this. I don't like that it's random. It's good for me, but it's like not. it's not very good for people. It's, it's not random. No. Oh, okay. The path is exactly the same each time. Oh, okay. So you can map it out ah, and say, okay. "Oh, I like those." Okay, this one. It shows the map where you're not supposed to okay. step. Briefly, and then you have to move. It does. It does flash it again. Ah. But it's like random flashes, I think. So only move where you know you're safe. So it's like a, f a dark flashing maze. <laughs> the bad thing is it's very hard to do it from the beginning without kind of pausing. Is it just your feet? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Sorry. Um, this one I tend to avoid because it takes a long time to get through. How do you know to avoid it? Uh, because it shows you which one you're getting when you I'll, I'll show you when you go to the next door oh i see that is the so you, okay. lightning one i think let's see yeah yeah that's the spinning 
That's the spotlight. No! Oh, you moved. I know, I was like in the perfect spot, but the part of the problem with this one is you can't yeah. see. You can't see yourself. Self. No! <laughs> Remember, there's a little slide. Thrust um, says, I think this needs a few minor touches of red. <sighs> yes and no. Because he, he kind of wants it like um, Sin City, the movie. Remember that way it was black and white. And sometimes there's splashes of red on a rose or blood or lipstick. Run! Which would make it very cool. Okay, so that is... Is that the maze? One of the spotlights. No, it's not the maze. Because there's two spotlights. One is opposite. One where you can see yourself, one where you can't see yourself. Oh. I got shot. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have an opinion one way or the other about the touches of red. I think it would be very cool. Uh, but I also like it this way where it's it's um, gray. Oh, you went for it. Why? Well, I, I, I uh... failed out. Got an upside down cat. See on the cat cam? Yes, so cute. So there's three levels of difficulty in this game, and then a random one where you cannot map it out. Um, uh oh, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna die in a moment or two. Oh, because we ran out of time. <clears throat> So, so you can see this game one and two on this because it's the demo version. Um, one and two. And on the final version, it'll be a third level and then a random level. Hey, backlog cabin. Thank you for enjoying and following. See how well I can do. I did map out this game. We're going to play without the maps because I don't know where they are. This is the lightning one. Oh, I don't like this one. It takes too long. Are you hot, kitten? This one's not too bad. Am I gonna make it? Yes, because it's an early one. Early ones like that don't take long, but the ones that are later, they do take a long time. Is that, that's not, that doesn't take too long. My favorite ones are the things that go back and forth. Not that, because that could be random. Oh, they're both random. Hooray. Every time I've gone in it, it's been this. Mm. The random one? The yeah. question? Oh, maybe it is that. Maybe there isn't a random one. I think it's random amount of seconds you get. Read the chat, please. Greetings at Zero Page Homebrew and chat. Greetings! Backlog, backlog cabin. cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I understand uh, the log and cabin, but the backlog, I guess it's the, the combination of both of them. Backlog and log cabin. Yes. You are correct. I, I believe I believe you have uh, solved. You've solved the puzzle. I <laughs> guess it wasn't that much of a puzzle. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> backlog cabin. <says>. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Dying takes a long time. So it's better to be cautious than die. Yeah. Oh, oh that's my favorite one. Someone put a toe in your ear, kitten. Yeah, I know it was me. <laughs> that's how I know. Oh my that's god. That's how I'm so certain. So you have to make it up a certain number of floors to make it to the top. And then what happens? And then you plant the bomb. Oh. Because this is a prequel, actually, to the other mm. the other game, where the bomb is in the lighthouse, and you have to defuse the bomb. Uh, this guy's going to plant the bomb. This is the shifty one. Yeah, this guy's the bad guy. Or who knows? Maybe you want the lighthouse to yeah, blow I mean, up. I guess it depends on how important the lighthouse is to... The local community? <laughs> uh, whoever. like The boats sailing by. Maybe the lighthouse is murdering people. Yes. Maybe haunted. it's not a lighthouse. Maybe that beam kills everybody and not just you. 
<laughs> yeah, true. When that beam sees you, you die. I, I everything I've seen says that lightning you know, house needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jared has joined us. This is the developer. Oh, good, I got back home in time for to see you guys play Spies too. Yes, I love, love, love this game. Such a great collection of mini games. Oh, Ugh, I didn't lose much. Because it just starts where you left off. What starts where you left off? The time. Ah. I don't think you, like, lose time. Like, it doesn't take five seconds off for dying. I thought you said it did. Moments ago, you said it's worse to die than it is to... Well, it's worse to die because it puts you right back at the oh, beginning. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't made it far, then yeah. sure, that's fine. Okay, Which I, I didn't. You. Ah! Yeah, this one's harder. Because you can't actually see yourself. It's it's oh, it's it harder so slash easier. It's, I mostly find this one easier. Then but it's just one? harder right at the beginning because you don't really know where you are. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I think I can make it to the end. Yeah. Sure. Someone's uh, grooving outside. They are. Well, we have a park nearby. People like to groove at the park. This one's slow. I can just run for it. Yeah. Oh, same speed. So I've read out, uh, Jared, your uh, update already. Uh, what should I do? Those get really hard at the upper level, actually. Everything gets hard. Oh, stupid. Just being stupid. Stop being stupid. Go. <gasps> that guy's really fast. He's very fast. Not your friend. <laughs> Not that's, that's a good explanation. I can't remember how many floors there are on the first one. 25? That can subtract from you, though. What? Making a decision? Yeah. It oh, can go this can. Oh, minus 15, I... minus 60 oh. or something. So you don't always want to. I think most of them are positive, though, because that would be terrible. Still on schedule for release one of these days. One of these days. Right on schedule. 100% on schedule. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think you, I don't think you're using the word schedule right. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... You keep using this word. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect quote. The game's good, though. Oh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> don't want that. Question. Oh, this is going to be a minus... No, and it can also put you up or down floors. Oh. So that just put me down a floor, and I have to redo the last floor again. Did the last floor take you 60 seconds? Uh, no. Okay, so it's on balance. Maybe. It's been better for you so far. Uh, you just got true. 60 seconds the last time you went there. True. I'm just saying, don't be like so, so quick to diss the room when it's mostly been good to you. True. Although, uh oh I have to do this one. Why? Because the option is to go down back up floor again. Oh, I right? see. Right? I see. You already know what it is. Okay, can I go there? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And I can go up and over a bit. Uh, I'm not sure now. Down, and we're clear. It's not too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty straightforward. Jared, how many levels, how many floors are there on... Should I do it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you should do it. On level one. On lighthouse one. That's a good one. 60 seconds. I needed that. Like, you literally have to get those bonuses. You'll run out of time. Oh, yeah. It's 21 or 25. You you doubled the amount of time you had. You more than doubled it, I think. <laughs> oh, they're both yeah, zappers. This is 25. This one's not too bad. I think it's clear. Oh, Ooh, it's, no, not. it's not. Oh, there we if go. you hadn't spent so much time thinking it was clear, you would have been you would have been paying attention when it flashed again. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Twenty five. Yeah. So, Ooh, should I do it? Sometimes they boost you. What is that? Minus fifteen. Oh no! That's not what I want at Nothing. all. Still, you're still way ahead for taking the question mark. I have five more floors. And unless you map six. them to know. Then right now your best benefit is to take the oh, question marks. Run. Nice. Run. That was a good, good choice. Good choice. Yeah, I, th I think it's twenty-five. 
Well, no. There's... He said 25. Yep. Oh, this is the one you had. This is not... No, you gotta go when it's at the top. What? Really? Don't you remember from my turn? Oh. <laughs> It is, it's, this is like, uh, uh, this is like oh. tapping your belly and circling your head. It is. Which apparently I can do without <laughs> difficulty with. Like, why, but not this. Oh, I made it. Okay. I'm Don't up now. die now. Go! <laughs> oh my god, 45 seconds. I need more time. More time. Just a little more okay, time. Okay, pause the game. I can't. D-Train37 wants to know ah. what they missed. Uh... <laughs> Everything right now! Quick, 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 quick! He always says that. <laughs> what did I miss? You missed Chaotic Burger. Oh, oh. I think I'm clear. Oh, oh, I don't want to die. You are clear. 26 seconds. Ooh, not good. Not good to do three floors. I don't know if you have to do the 25th floor. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh uh, wow. not too bad. Oh my, oh, my god. It's moving around. Go! Run, 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 run! Nope. No. Run, 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 run! <laughs> 24th floor. No, I'm sad. I wanted to see Chaotic Grill. Well, you should have been You there. should have missed. Ooh, you should I do that? No, I don't you think You still I'm going can. To. You still can watch. I want this. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Not have five seconds. And then you just stood there wasting some of them. You are like, it's not enough time. I'm so sad now, you said to yourself. I'm so sad now. Two seconds. Can I do it? <laughs> Uh, you cannot. Finny. Almost. Spina Nut is here! Um, so this is <laughs> a super awesome game. Look at that graphics. Those are amazing. Oh yeah, D-Train, uh, we recorded it, so you can watch it later. <laughs> Good point. <Yeah. laughs> I think you can even rewind right now and watch it. If you don't want to interact live. Wow. You probably want to interact live, though. Okay. Oh, uh, you were on game two? So you weren't there anyway. No, I was on game one. I was on game one. I played game I one. I don't... Are you sure? Yeah, very sure. Because you started off harder than I did. Mm -mm. I played game one. All right. I was moving back... And, oh, maybe maybe not. But game, game R is 99 floors, but they're all random. Yeah, good luck. You need lots of bonus time for that one. Okay. Uh, at the end screen, some red would be especially cool. Thrust really wants some red. <laughs> you could put it in behind the RIP, right? Maybe. In the eye in RIP. Make it drip. Just the eye. Make it drip down. Or the eye, yeah, and then drip out of it or something. Or like an hourglass and like the sand is falling out and the sand is all blood red. <laughs> because that's what killed you was time. Yes, that's red rum. Aha, uh -huh, true. At the end screen, it would be especially cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Yeah, you got his attention. <laughs> but it is done, so it would be adding something. Oh, oh, now I have a chance to fix that. Backlog Cabin is a long name. One second. What happened? See, it overlaps. Oh, I see. Over top of that. And I've been waiting for somebody's long name to be there. So I just reduced the width. So I want it to line up perfectly with... Get on there. Come on. You're being punished for your long name. There we go. Is that right? <laughs> I need one more dot. Nope, that's too much. Perfect. No, not punished. Rewarded. Rewarded. Congratulated, in fact. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the third game, Robo Mechanic. Grab the joystick. I got it. Excellent. Let's go down to Robo Mechanic. So how come we don't have to press the button when you do the thing now anymore? What happened? Uh, which button? Remember we used to have to press the button when you would, like... You used to have to hold oh. the button or someone would get in trouble and it was me. I would get in trouble if I didn't hold the button. Oh, because we were using uh, uh, Sega Genesis controllers. Ah. And holding the button down would enable both buttons. Ah. And also if you didn't hold down the button... This you, wouldn't start. It wouldn't work at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, that's only because of the Genesis controller. Yes. Uh. Yes. But unless we're playing specifically... Now I have better joysticks. Like, I have proper joysticks. Now make it scroll. Make what scroll? I don't know. Something on the last game? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Robo Mechanic. This is by uh, Christoph Klukseg. 
And you can obviously tell he is from the demo scene because this intro, just this intro is astounding. Yeah. Never mind the game, yeah. the music and the graphics on this intro are This just... work in progress <laughs> is mind blowing. Um, so this was first posted December 9th, 2017 at Silly Venture 2017. We last played this October 11th, 2019. It's not bouncing. It's not working for a reason. Um, he's made Mo Robo Mechanic and Stripes of Terror. Now, I looked back and I was going to go, okay, what games, what levels haven't we done? And we finished every level, which is, makes a lot of sense. I think X, go to, let's go to X. Go down when you again. go, when you're A, when you press the joystick, it goes to B, and when you press back, it goes to X. Yeah. And you have to go down to go to A again. Oh, well, there's a, there's a problem. Um, X's are random, I think. So let's just do the X world, because we haven't done the X world. And they're just levels that we've done before. Sweet intro reminds me of Crack Tros minus the crack. <laughs> no crack for you. Oh, I can't believe Rombo Mechanic isn't finished. One of the best homebrews out there. It is unbelievable. It's gorgeous looking. It has amazing music. It has such an incredible variety. That's going to fall on you, so there you go. Um, incredible variety of types of levels. Like, this is a boulder dash type of level. There's puzzle levels. There's shooter levels. There's timing levels. Unbelievable. Um, uh oh. You can download this exact version in the Atari 8 forms. And I believe Thomas Yench is helping him with this game. I think he was helping him with the compression of the data to fit all the levels in. And I reached out to Christoph and uh, he uh, gave me an update on the game, which I'll read. So we played this four times in the past, starting on March 24th, 2018. That was one of our first shows that we ever did when we played this game. And then September 4th, 2019, October 4th, 2019, and October 11th, 2019, where we finished all the levels. Um, oh yeah, I just did the same thing as before. And I'll show you a map of the levels. Sort of. You can still make it up. So what you can do is go to the left, and then you quickly go down and left. Across. Oh, you can do it fast. Oh, oh I don't want it. Yeah, I, I know, but yeah. I joystick controls. Because there is a lack of them. <laughs> lack of them. Because there is a, a slight delay before it hits you. It's not much. Like you don't have much time in this. You get a little bit more time in Boulder Dash, and this one it's pretty unfamiliar. Uh, Thrust says was helping. No update for a long time. Yes. So. Um, he messaged me yesterday about this, uh, about the current status of RoboMechanic. He says, Hi! Unfortunately, no new releases at this point. As far as news goes, I've implemented level compression, and I'm able to fit about 113 maps in it. This one's easy. Oh my god. That was... Like, Stage X is just random smatter. It must have been like... I didn't even see it. It must have been... It so fast. Well, it was... There was no challenge. It was, here's the thing. Put it over here. You're done! It was It was like... Trainer it level. It was number one. <laughs> <laughs> Training level. Yeah. Now, I think you played a lot of these levels. So, I think you have to push those bombs beside one of those things... So you can open up a passage when you shoot it with the bullets, because you got bullets. So if you push up and uh, go around, yeah, yeah. and push it I forgot over. how you were able to do it. And that's the spot where you want to shoot it. But you don't want to be beside it when you shoot it. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah. Interesting. I think it only explodes the things around it. So... That should still work. Because you would explode those four. So you need to push the bomb back. Oh, okay, that works too. I think you'll definitely And what do you do? You press the button? Press the button to aim. Yeah. There you go. Now you'll need that second one, but you need to be crafty about it. Yeah. Crafty. I don't know how... Oh, you'll have to do some pushing first. Yeah. We oh, you can this. do it. I yeah. think it's pretty straightforward. And then you that. put it there. 
Gotta get that out of the way. Yeah. Push this out of the way. Yeah, okay, push yeah. Push this out of the way. Yeah. Um, uh, 113 maps in it, which creates a new problem of creating the content. I have about 90% of maps needed, needed done, but they need extensive playtesting and coming up with a reasonable order, which is insanely hard to come up with considering a lot of maps cover a lot of different themes. And you did it. Yay! Off to your ship. Mommy didn't raise no dummy. Wait, no, sorry, she may have, but if she did, it was only one of them. And it may not have it been wasn't you. Me. <laughs> You're proving that right now. So you got some bullets, and you got some bats, and they're protecting the... no. <laughs> the screws. I need to get all four screws to get to the spaceship. I, I don't know why I wait till it gets Go to, to the that bottom. one spot. Go to the bottom. Give yourself well, you need one to more. Get bullets. Yeah, to shoot the bats. Oh, I didn't know you could shoot the bats. Because once you get sense. in there, there's no way you're getting out if if um, you don't shoot those bats. Uh, Thress says, I volunteer with ordering and suggestions. I don't think the ordering would be too difficult. His, his ordering's pretty good as it stands right now. I think he's created some new levels, though. Um, in, in terms of the map ma making, I think he should, if it's not too difficult, make a map maker and open it up to people creating maps. Just like um, Chaotic Grill, like Splendid Nut is uh, wanting to do, and Draconian did. Oh, you're running out of lives. Yeah. But you can continue in this game, so. And you're safe. And you're safe! Yay! That one's not too bad, the one in the bottom. Unless it starts going down to oh. the left again. Oh, it does, yeah. Run, it does, ah, run. Oh, okay, there you go. So that would solve the problem. Open it up for suggestions, because I don't think anybody knows that he wants map suggestion. <laughs> oh no, so close. Uh, it was just, uh, what do you call it? Um... And it sets itself to the one you died on. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what were you on? I don't know. Does it matter? It's random. We're doing random maps. You only get one shot at it. Oh, There's I'm nothing wrong with that. I'm sorry. Huh? That's true. Okay. I mean, I would like a second shot, but you were almost I can right. accept that I don't deserve it. Is this... <laughs> um, and then Dread, the Amiga FPS game I made, came and took over my YouTube channel along with a good fraction of my free time, and Robo Mechanic kind of stalled. I'd like to finish it one day and put carts into production, but this is still a weak motivation considering the low margins I expect developers make on sales. Sadly, that is very, 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 very true. Um, if you're looking to get rich... Making Atari 2600 games is probably not yeah. the way you want to uh, get rich. <laughs> I don't know how much it is, but just guessing, I would say it's probably five to ten dollars. Five to ten dollars per game that they would make. I'm guessing more towards the five, based on just looking at costs and thinking about all the things that go into it. There's no pulling, there's only pushing. And just based on my guesses, I would say it's in the low hundreds that you would sell uh, for a really, really, really popular game over time. You'd maybe sell 500 Ooh. for like a top tier AAA kind of along the lines of what maybe Champ uh, games would sell. Um, Why not? Um, so you're looking at over many years, twenty five hundred dollars for a game, making it, which obviously is terrible return unless you're like a master, super fast programmer um, that has like infrastructure already there that you can just drop in and alter and. Um, Thrust confirms usually five dollars, so I, my guess was right. And give or take, say you're putting some bonus little keychain thing in or special stickers, you're gonna obviously reduce it down by a dollar. Or if you're 
doing a bare bones game with like a single fold out page instruction, it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah. Um, I've attached current work in progress view of maps currently in the game, but non green colored frames meet means the map is incomplete or still needs some consideration. As I've said, the maps need some sorting according to the difficulty and order of introducing new gameplay mechanics. So, um, there is a beta game that I am beta testing on, and they did that with that game. People, he crowdsourced it and said, hey, here's, uh, here's a, a, a web-based database. Please put in your difficulty ratings from 1 to 10 on each of these levels. So you can go, oh, this, this level was a 1. It was super simple. And this one, obviously, is one of the more harder ones because it's taking you longer. To yeah, do. but actually, but you there, did it. There were two bombs, and I kept thinking I had to use them both. Oh. And so I was trying to find a solution to move the bomb, but as it turned out, I didn't need to move the second bomb at all. Oh, so there was a red that, I would have figured it out quicker if I if there was only one bomb. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, I only need one bomb. Yeah, that's funny. So it's like a red herring. <laughs> what are you doing? Joystick issues. It's just straight down, dude. There I you know. go. And then look for the safe zones. There you go. But also, double clicking is a thing. That's true. Yeah. Which, uh, you yes. know, is a skill based issue. I seem to remember. What game did we have so much difficulty? This one. Was it? It was this one, I believe. Oh. Oh, he smacked you. Oh. Oh, smacked you. oh because I took the thing that would have kept it. Oh, these ones start moving around, so you got to, like, power through this. Yeah, it's oh, going to follow me. Right. You have to get to the second safe zone each time. Yeah. Oh! Too slow. Because some, some levels are like, this is a puzzle. Oh, what? It's always going to be a new one. What are you trying to do? <laughs> do you not remember the last map where this happened? Every time you die, it goes to a random one. Because I had to start over. I started a new game. I died. I well, ran out of lives. Was it on X6? I don't think so. Was it on X5 that you were on? Or maybe it's that it remembers you were on X6, but X6 is whatever it happens to be because it's random each time. Could be. I think that's it. Yeah, that could be it. Because it, it wasn't X1. So you're right. It is remembering... But it doesn't remember the map you're on. It remembers the which map, random which, map, which random map level uh, you were on. Yeah, I think it's drawing from a, maybe a pool of them. It's like, here's a random level from A. Here's a random level from C. I don't have all the instructions in front of me, but um, there's a thing up there. I don't know what that does? Oh, it teleports you. Oh, you know what? I remember this one. You uh, could... screwed myself. Nope. Oh, Go. the teleport. Oh, I see. The teleport is where I need to get. But you still need to keep that open. What you could do is that boulder. Go over here and quickly uh, push that over. I don't know if you can because that one's going to fall. Uh, it's too fast, I think. Yeah, I remember having this one is very hard because you have to keep a path open to your spaceship. This one's really, really hard. This level is easier if you open all the rooms first. Oh, the last level. That makes sense. Stop getting... You just power through all the level, all the rooms. Yeah, that would make sense. There you go. There you go. I'm a dumb hole, but I'm not that much of a dumb hole. <laughs> and you still have to get there. Still open. It's good. Still open. Okay. You're safe on that side. You will have to power power like do 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 do. I remember doing this one and it taking forever. And I think that's what I had to do at the end. Down right, down right, down right, down right, down right. It was brutal. Oh, your teleporter's very trapped. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to get back to the teleporter and I was just abandoning the teleporter. I was like, teleporter, smell it, porter! Yeah, you have to kill yourself. Just, that's a rude thing to say to me. <laughs> it is. In the game. I figure you if I'm gonna... To. If I'm gonna get trapped, I might as well be real trapped. That's right. 
<laughs> Two levels of boulders trapped. <laughs> Alright, this is how we die. Smush. I can still see the dolphin cartridge. Are you trying to get the Thrinna patch again? Yes. My goal is to get every Activision patch. Um, so I am keeping out the cartridges. I should just get all the cartridges from my storage. Um, that are all under the bed, actually. Um, that I need to finish and get the patch for. Because then I just have them handy. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I do. I do this. Yep, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Ooh, oh, oh, so I, close. I, I just, so close. I, 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 I uh, slipped on my joystick. Actually, that's a good note, Charles Reese. I'm going to write that down so I can do that and just get out all the cartridges. So that'll remind me. It's like, oh, you have to do all these things. You have to play all these games. Okay, get all Activision carts that I need for patches. Done. So, next show, I will show them all off. Some I don't have, I don't think. Maybe I... I don't know if I have Space Shuttle or not. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, I pushed it. Yep. And that was my last chance, anyway. Oh, we get another random level. X6. Which is where I... You were failing. <laughs> it is random. Okay. Uh, those flashing oh, things... Oh, my God. Those flashing things You're kill me? You're not safe right away. I bet they do. Yep. Uh, you... Oh, my God. Double... Attack of the double click. Oh, it's a it's a race. It's just a race. Oh, you won't be able to fight again though. <laughs> okay, that was not a Darcy level one. Darcy insists on playing again. Ooh. Yeah. What? No, no. It it, it changes it changes oh, the path okay. because the thing's not there, and therefore I get smushed. It's, it's looking spot. on its left at all times, mm -hmm. so it wanted to go in and kill you. So you're gonna have to figure out where it isn't. Oh, you can trap it somewhere else. Once you get rid of the screw, it's gonna do something else. Yeah. I just, uh, I believe what it's gonna do. <laughs> no. Charles so, Reese says, awesome. So it goes around there, and so what's gonna happen is once the screw's gone, it's gonna make a small thing. So I need to go in and out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Yep. But it didn't work last time. As long as it's touching it the inside brick. That's right. That's right. And you can do that on all of them. Yeah. So actually, you can just power down and to the right on that yep. one. Well, it's going to be too fast, though. No, that's the better, better way to do it. Yeah. It's a little bit more tricky. Oh. Uh, okay, your turn. I'm going to play one or two. Random levels. It's kind of cool that... They are random. I like that it's random. Yeah. I really like that it's random. Yeah, Sick. yeah. Oh, here. Have another one. Practice this one. Okay, so I have no choice. And there are so many levels. Oh, I see. I remember this one. Uh, can I push the bomb? Yes. Where? Okay, that's what I wanted to do. This one's like the teleporter. And you the land. direction you go in is where you come out. Yeah. yeah. So I might as well get that. I'll get that. That'll blow up that. I'll get that. Uh, and I have to go through the teleporter. And then I get the key, and then I go through the teleporter, go through the door, and I'm home free. Can you fix your ship? Fix it! Fix, fix that, that ship. ship with the screws! <laughs> oh, you did this one. I did. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, it, oh, it, looked no. Like it, it looked like it, but this was not it. To die. I remember, uh, I remember this one from... Oh my goodness. I remember this one from many moons ago. How do you do this one? Oh, I can let it... Nope. If I let it fall and go to the left, I've trapped it. If I go to, go in, go to the right, and push it... Oh, I need to make room for it. That might help. Okay. Yeah. But I remember then... this one being... This one is uh, fairly advanced. I remember it taking a lot of working Ooh, out to get even this then this particular spot I think was the hardest bit I have to do that yeah and then there was a lot of this talk going on and I, I have to do that yeah 
But if I move to the left, you can't. that's gonna fall in and trap it. And I can't, and if I move down, uh, I'm safe, I'll push. get the screw. Oh, oh, no, I can't push. No, you can't push. I have to do that, and then I'm trapped. Um, and I can't even kill myself. So you can't even try this map again. Oh, I have one more go. Oh, it worked. Um, if I push that, if I make room for that boulder to the first. right of the screw yeah, first. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I never get to see that level again. <laughs> uh, you get to see it, just not Ooh, yet. What am I going to do here? Should I go when he's going to the right or when he's going to the left? When he's at the left, I think. Yeah, because yeah, that gives me a bit more time. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna go in there. That's the only way. It's the only option. Uh, I. Oh, that's true. What was I doing? Well, it seemed like you would have a choice. It seemed like it was more of the previous. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. But it wasn't I tripped. It was different. Uh, okay. These. Oh, this one. It's a thing that is not a wall or a boulder. It will probably kill you if you touch it. But no, I guess. Oh not. no. This one was hard, I remember. Nope. I can't kill myself. Okay, let's think this through first. Uh, I have to push each of these three things into... Oh, they're over on the right-hand side. That's where I need to push them. Over to the east, I think. Oh, God, no. And I messed up. <laughs> uh, not necessarily. Uh, yes, no. no. Uh, push. You can push one to the first one to get rid of it. Yeah. Can I push it through that? No, up. No. 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 Up. 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 That yeah. one. Push that over. Not too far. Okay. One more. Yeah. Down. Down. And you can push it up. Oh, I can get rid of them, right? Is that what? I, I'm guessing I that think. this gets rid of them. No. No. That doesn't work. James, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I have to put them into. Oh my God. What do I? What do I do? Can't push over there. Yeah, those lightning bolts need to go where you tried to push that thing. Into that, yeah. Into that rectangle thing. That's my oh, guess. Two more lives. This is this is a level we didn't do this this type of level before. These are things we didn't we were not introduced. Yeah. Uh, this is a new in this gameplay session anyway. Uh, when I say we I mean I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Um the problem is those are in the way now. Uh yeah. And I've screwed myself. Uh, Again. No more attempts. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> it seems that we flipped out and got the same one. Now, are these just annoyances in the Thrust way? Thrust says this one is a very hard puzzle. Yeah, I remember this. Is uh, so that one was in the way. I want to get them up here, I think. Like, out of the way. I can put that. And then push that one down. That one. If that's what your goal, and then you go round, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Either way. Yeah. That okay. Works. And then. I mean, that one's still in the way-ish, but at least I can try and do this. I now. suspect that's not what we have to do, it's but it'll easy. let us. <laughs> it'll let us try try this anyways. Yeah. No. No. Oh. No. no nice. Go push the other one down. Yeah. Push it down. At least I can do something. Right, you get one per. Well, why shouldn't I be able to do all the rest now? We'll see why I... Ooh. Oh, because you need them for something. Oh, see down there? Those things. You see this? Oh, I need to That's get them those. through there? Yeah. Oh my god. I've screwed that up. And look at this. How can I even do this? Like, I've screwed it up. I didn't even move that. Yeah, that means that you haven't screwed it up. That means there's something that you can do, and I don't know what it is. Oh, no, you know what? Okay, you do this. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, then it's still, that doesn't help. You still can't move the other one further. I, yeah, because I move it back. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. But this is hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to screw it up right here. One more. And then I think I have to push it over. Yeah, push it over. Now you move this one all the way. All the way to the end to get your screw. No, don't touch that one at all. <laughs> move the other one first. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Like, I'm not going to win this level, but we, at least we can show getting all the screws. Yeah. 
Yay! Bloop. Yeah. Thank you for not uh, letting me uh, screw up. And then I need to move it up, and then over, and up, and then over. And not double click the joystick. And I've got my screws, and these are and not. screwed. And then I am screwed. <laughs> Fully screwed with three screws. Because I need to put them there. So I need to keep those in a spot. I remember doing this level, and it took so long. Because you have to, like, move those over. You move them over up over them. here where there's space and where you, you go by and leave yourself room to get by them. So I don't know where that is. It doesn't look like a lot of places for I that. I seem to remember it being here or here. And then each time you move... A I think there's a spot right there. Yeah? If you have one there, you can still get around and push down. Right. If you have it there, you can push it to here and then get around. Right. There's two spots here. There's a lot of room here. I don't know. I think that... that you have to no, that's not going to work. That's why it isn't going to work. Each one past each other. Yeah. But anyway... Um, you have four lives. You could... You have tried. No, I'm not going to play this level. It takes too long. We have one more game. Okay, let's play one more game. Um... So that is Robo Mechanic. Uh, I think I'm gonna make um, the suggestions to him about kind of open it, opening it to people saying. Oh, for puzzles. Yeah. For adding. Oh yeah. Like, if he, if he has a level editor, like an easy one, mm -hmm. that you can just make in text format. It's like, oh, a screw is this. Yeah, yeah. A block is this. A blah is this. A blah is this. Yeah. And then he has a translator that can make a binary, e even for that one level. Yeah. Um, because that's how um, Daryl Spice Jr. did it for Draconian. It was just text. Yeah, yeah. And it made it really, really easy for anybody that can do it. And then also make a, a spreadsheet for difficulty. Like this one would be like a 10. 10 out of 10. Super hard. Um, and I think that last one that we didn't quite get was super hard. That one would be way up there too. And then he would have all the information he wants. He'd have all the levels done, and he would have a rating that he could sort it at, sort it out. Done. Yay! Yeah. And we get a game. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's happy. Oh, okay. This game uses paddles. So load it on up. Actually, load it on up to the east side. Ooh, that this is oh you're so fast. Let me get that on the screen. Paranoid looks really good. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. It is so amazingly nice looking, and uses very, very clever tricks to make it look this nice. I mean, not even in the just the I don't know which one it is. It's this one. Like, look at those rows of, uh, you may need to fiddle with it a lot until it's nice and steady. Okay. Now, um... Yeah, I think it's pretty steady. I reached out to ESHU, who made this. Um, actually, let's go to the history of this. This was first posted in oh. 2014, so this is seven years since he started uh, posting this game. Yeah, go for the ball first, then the bonuses. Yeah. Still a little shaky. You may want to. I'm also just bad. Twisty, no, no, twisty. it's it's not actually the, it's not actually the joystick. I did that and it. it oh, okay. It's it's actually quite smooth. It's just skills issue. Skills issue. Uh, so this is first posted May seventh, two thousand fourteen. So seven years ago. Um, this build is from June 14th, 2020. turning the wrong way. Sometimes I go the wrong way. Oh. I don't know why. Well, you'll get it. You'll figure it out. Um, and I reached out to ESHU, like all the other developers, um, and he hasn't... Unfortunately, he hasn't been on the Atari Age forum since June 18th, 2020. Um, so oh. over a year, he hasn't visited the Atari Age forums. So he obviously was not going to answer <laughs> my message because he wouldn't see it. Um, and around that time, he posted about four messages, mostly about this game. And uh, before that, he'd only posted once in three years. 
So he's not a big uh, forums guy. That's for sure. Um, but he used to be an active member. Uh, he's been on for 13 years on the forums. And he's posted 293 times. So I think most of those were not in the past little while. But hopefully he'll f uh, uh, return and finish up this amazing looking game. Uh, and all the levels aren't like this. They all have different patterns. Of... of um, of blocks. So there's drop downs just like an Arkanoid. What is P? Can't remember. Oh, I think it just gave you an extra life. So P is an extra life. Um, e is extended. S is for sticky, I believe. Um, let's see if we can figure them all out. I'm get better. That's good. Uh, I did. You're doing really awesome. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's what you want to do. Yeah, E is so good beyond everything else. For me, it's definitely better, yeah. The only one better, I don't know. Get that, get that. It's extra life. Oh. Um, My friend like a, told me to get the, the ball first and uh, then the, the thing. True. And I think he was smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it would have ended up the same. Because if you, lo if you lost, if no, you got no, it... No, no, because what happens is if the ball dies while you're trying to get a bonus thing, you don't get the bonus thing. Oh, really? Yep. I know because nope. I've lost a ball trying to get the bonus thing before and it just fell right through the paddle. Oh, no. Well, you made it to level two. Hooray! Level two is much harder because those things take two hits. So it's like you're not progressing for a while. I don't know if it's any actually any harder. No. It because I'm not trying to accomplish anything except not dying. <laughs> there is no goal in this game at my skill level. It's just how long can I not die? <laughs> Entirely. Round one. Fight. Oh my god. Oh, you only start with three lives. Even though it shows five spaces. Mm. I love the way it displays the lives. Yeah. Where you can actually see an empty... How many you could get. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's paddle, you can like go wham and get yeah. all the uh, bonuses. Yeah. Now I've got sticky. I think it was a C. Catch. 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 Oh yeah, catch. Maybe. Good one. Good one. And unlike Arkanoid, or unlike other uh, games like this, you can stack your bonuses. Because some... Oh, the sticky lose... one really helps you catch the bonuses. Ah, yes. A pause button. It's like, it's like when you finish a level, if there's a pause button and you don't like... Um, try to put a nut in your mouth <laughs> but That's here right. you could put a nut in your mouth every single time and every time and you'd be it okay. comes yeah it's a great for uh, eating and gaming yeah if you don't mind uh cheetos covered uh <laughs> controllers what is Not e ah i missed oh and i died oh no I flicked my hair away yeah it's always death. the hair flick the yeah. flair, hair flick of death yeah was he extend? Extend. P is player. Play extra player. And I missed it and died. Uh, the worst of all combinations. That's an angle that's never going to work for you. Nope. <laughs> Keep trying, though. There you go. <laughs> Got it out of the rut. Yeah, there seems to be a limited number of angles. Yes. Oh, what's that? It's a smiley face there. What is going on there that wasn't there last time was it no, I, I don't it? know it is a smiley kind of smiley face oh I need an E you do lose all your bonuses ah oh, I want that smiley face what's that oh it's an extra life oh it moved is that a bug no that's a very specific shape that's not like oh you see that what? it was it's the thing Oh. 
that comes off when you get a bonus. So it was a mistake. Oh, I see. Extra life. Yay. Just in time. But it's not like a random pixel is what I meant. No. Yeah. No. Oh, another extra life. It's the... Like, it's the game. Almost like um, oh, I wanted that. sound. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's what I need. What was S? It didn't make it sticky. No. Well, well you said C one. was sticky. Oh, well, what's S then? Slow. Is uh, it, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They could definitely be going slower, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's messed up again. And that's right where the last one was. The last one might have released something, but it didn't get a chance to release it. Ah. Like there was something inside of it. Yeah. So that's that's what the bug is. Yeah. Be, yeah. Does it want to make a better paddle? No. I have never I have not seen well, there was someone that had the the double paddle, remember? So there is an aftermarket pa remember someone had the paddle and it's like it's like these two paddles put together don't press as button. though they're like this. Oh. Remember for there's the game where you use two paddles at the same time. The, I can't remember what it was and it's like one was it, was it an aftermarket paddle? Yeah, it was account? for a specific game we played and showed mm. somebody and we talked about it and I thought somebody had one. Maybe I'm imagining it. Because that would I be nice about it. to have another paddle. It would be really easy to make. Like, you don't... I would think it's so. A, it's, it's a potentiometer. It's just a potentiometer, yeah. Like yeah. Or it's more about the hardware, like, the, the manufacturing of the yeah. plastic more than the internals. When I say easy to make, I don't necessarily mean easy to well, make one that's, like, it? worth your time and is good. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's a very limited market. Very limited. Those green ones are permanent? Uh, so far. Oh, God. Get it, please. Oh, it's a double one. Stay up there. No. 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 Get out of here. They are permanent for sure. Damn it. Go! And hit it, too. <laughs> Not only have to get it up there, you have to hit it. The Retron 77 paddle, it works. That's true. Retron 77 made one. And it's in my closet. And the reason why it's in my closet, because it's this big, it's so tiny, and it's recessed into plastic. So you can't oh. spin it like this. Oh. It like it's like really annoying. Like the sides, hmm. you hit the plastic. So no, so no I, I do not recommend it over just decent paddles that you can put some lubrication in. And these are cheaper, too. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't recommend the Retron 77. I bought them and promptly put them away. And there's way better joysticks out there as well. Like these, like made by Bratwurst. Worse. That sounds tasty. <laughs> it's a good joystick. Picked uh, picked a good name for it. But that's his name. We just yeah. called him the Bratwurst Brass, Bratwurst Joysticks because he didn't give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fine with that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. So my recommendation is buying old paddles and just kind of getting them working again. Because now that it's perfect, it's very smooth. And I just played it for a while. And if I really wanted to permanently kind of make it better, I would open it up and make sure there's lots of lubrication in there. Because right now, the lube is just not everywhere and moving it around gets it everywhere. This one is just pure attrition. Oh yes, extra life and lost it. Slow. Yeah, that's what the is. It's better to life and lost than to never life at all. I don't know. <laughs> I think so, because you might not die getting the pee. But you have to make sure you get the pee if you're going for the pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, that is a pointless endeavor. Oh, this is a painful level. This will make it slightly less painful, but take longer. It lets you practice. It lets you learn how to nice. uh, aim. That's true. Ugh. 
obviously I need to learn how to aim. Mori! I'm at maxi. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum E is achieved. Get, oh there. no, they disappeared. They've already been hit. Mori! It's really, you want to get it. Oh yeah. I think it might be a bit too generous on the peas. No, that's not. No? Because <laughs> I'm not a, an expert player and I should not be at this level with this many lives again. I don't think I deserve it. Mm. <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself. I don't know what is left to do on this. I mean, there's a couple, like there's that bug of the the thing when you get the last, um, the last block and it, and it tries to put something on the screen. Yep. Um, too many peas. Um, that's about it. Was it E again? Yep. Oh, Just yeah. practicing. Why? <laughs> sticky. More sticky! Oh no, slow. Slow. Yeah. Which is better. Because it does get fast. I mean, I don't think it gets fast enough, actually, um, in this. Uh, are there difficulty levels? There are no difficulty levels. That would yeah. be a good thing to add in. And that's the thing that needs to be added, because that's pretty normal to add yep. difficulty levels. Two player. Uh, he may not have enough memory for two player depending on how the game is made to keep like a whole another set of like board because mm -hmm. I mean it only has 128 bytes unless he has added more uh, RAM onto the uh, like using a different um, technique for memory because I don't think there would be enough memory to store two boards full of players that would be why there would be a two player it's not necessary so one person can just wait <laughs> but it is more fun with two players simultaneous not simultaneous alternating thanks for the input guys but no problem i'm like you're not the developer <laughs> you're welcome wait a minute <laughs> Yeah, so luckily better and cheaper goes hand in hand this time. Usually better and cheaper do not go hand in hand. Better is like, oh, well, you can get this $200 paddle and it'll never break and it's super awesome and fluid. I don't know what paddles go for, but I'm sure you can pick up a ton of them for almost nothing at a retro gaming convention or even a flea market if you can find them find them there not many 2600 things at flea markets anymore usually in the hands of uh, resellers who jack up the price are the red ones take two hits i don't think I so swear i've seen two twice where a red one took a bounce no those are new that's a new one yeah, Possibly. I'm just saying, like, I thought that they one shot was taking them. I mean, there might See? have been a bug. Oh, well, it might have hit the gray one. It probably just hit the gray one. Mm. See, there, oh. it, there's times when it looks like it's hitting the red, but it might just be That's... hitting the edge of the gray. Yeah, I think it might have hit the edge of the gray on that. Even though it didn't really look like it. Ah! Got it. Yeah. So, good thing, good thing about paddles. Yeah. Go, boom! Boom! Clear and go through the whole thing. Yeah. Well, maybe not. You might miss it, but if you go slowish enough. Ugh. Okay. Is that going to go to the right? Yes. That's what this is good for. Finishing up the level. Uh, sticky. Ugh. If you can get it on the right-hand side of your paddle. 
Boom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Didn't get it. Oh, what? Oh, no. I think this is the end. <laughs> the end of the game. Well, there's something he needs to do. More yep. levels. Or if this is a bug, but I don't think it is. So there is like four, five, four levels. Oh, no. I think it was five. Yeah. So he needs more levels. Oh, I don't have sticky anymore. But they're pretty good levels. Fairly, fairly creative. And um, just the look of the game is so awesome. The colors oh, yeah. that he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, works the, really well. the lines between. Um, he's done some very, very, very clever programming to get those lines in between. If you look at uh, the code underneath it. Free play mode. <laughs> yep. You can just practice your paddling. That's a paddling. That, that is a paddling. That's a paddling. <laughs> and that's a paddling. Here, Pixel, you play. There you go. Oh, oh Pixel, you come have one on. more ball. Okay, go. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Oh, you lost it. Game over. It Very takes cool. practice picks. Don't feel too bad. Yeah. Beautiful, gorgeous um, title screen for this. So hopefully he comes back, sees my message, sees this show, <laughs> and uh, finishes it off. He could do the same thing, open up the level, make a level editor. Mm -hmm. This one would be even easier because Seems they're like... in very specific spots. Yeah, yeah. Literally, it's a, just a, a grid. And yeah. What, What's there? Is, is it a silver Something one? or nothing? Yeah. Something or nothing is it, or silver. And the rest are just random colors. I think they're just rows. Like as it goes, no, no, no. They're specific, the specific colors. So you can go red, they're red, 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 green, 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 green. But green. it seems I think they're just aesthetic, because I think the bonus isn't limited to the type. No. So. So you can make like, like green trees, yeah. or like a red ball, or a red ball. So you could use the colors. So yeah, you just have a spreadsheet. Red, green, blue, purple, silver, yellow, for example, on this screen. And uh, let's see, so you can see my paddle is not perfect. Not perfect, good enough. Good enough for this game, anyway. Doesn't need super, super precision. So hopefully um, he'll come back and finish this game. I like how game. it looks like the ball is shifting around on it. <laughs> Very cool. So, uh, obviously, amazing games because these are my amazing games we played today because these are my picks for my favorite abandoned or unfinished games um, that haven't been updated in a long time. Yes, it's 2600. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous for 2600? The colors? I mean, that's its strength. 2600 yeah. is it has 128 hey, 128 hey. colors hi oh oh what a happy cat hi oh so I, oh three hands three scratches oh paradise for cats what's happening oh the scoreboard and the title screen look too good <laughs> that is true let's go back to that oh a cat we have to die <laughs> that's one thing he needs to add uh, reset needs to just die. Actually, I'll show the title screen again. Hi, buddy. No, stop playing. Die. I'm trying to die. Oh, but sorry, me playing versus not playing. There's no difference. <laughs> I don't know. Did you not know that? It's a slight difference. There we go. There's the title screen again. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful title screen. Uh, I don't even know how he did it. Spring. Because there's no flickering. It's colorful all the way across, and it's slightly out a bit, and he's got stars beside on some of them. Um, yeah, I think it's a very, very complex title screen. Um, but the great thing about this is that, oh, I bet he's split it into two players left and right so that mean that means he's able to put that line down the screen for free then he just needs to put two more lines doesn't look like it's doubled damn it's crazy i have no idea i'd have to look at it what a great show today it's cool to replay some homebrew greatest hits we don't mind watching them again oh good 
Yeah, I mean, I love playing these again, too. They're great, great games. Pixel oh, yeah. getting dual scratches, spoiled kitty. Yes. So we played today Kiata Grill, um, which is pretty far along, but he wants oh, to redo yeah. it from scratch to yeah. make it look and play a lot better. Which I encourage I mean, him I'm to not do. I'm sure it's possible, but sure, go for oh, it. Oh, it, it is. There's a lot more you can do. Sure. Um, Spies in the Night, which is done, which has no release date, but it is. it does have box art and is pretty much ready to go. But the people who are going to release it don't have access to chips, and hopefully uh, there's going to okay. be chips at some point. So that's what's holding that one up. Uh, Robo Mechanic needs levels and sorting of levels. That's what he says. It needs more levels? More levels, because he has lots of room and he wants to fill it. That's oh, cool. that's something I didn't show. Um, I, I'm not going to object to putting more levels into Robo Mechanic. That's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> it has so many, but if you want to add more, hooray, go for it. Um, so this is... Let's see if I can show this properly. Oh, can't show that. Well, maybe I can do full screen. F11, right? There we go. It was just so it's still small, but here is all the levels right now. So world. So there's how many? So there's are eight or nine levels per, per eight, world. Eight. Eight per. Eight per. Um, he has world H done, I believe, in the one we have. Uh, I think. I'm not sure what the white surrounding thing is. He said the pink one is not a functioning level yet. Mm. It's like kind of laid out properly. But he's got world I, J, K, So green must L. be done. What does blue mean? I don't know. And there's like some with no border. Yeah. Uh, he didn't tell me what all of them meant. He only told me what the... Secrets. <laughs> the pink ones are. World he's got code. world up... O, which is actually in the game we played. Um, that comes after you defeat World H. And you get you win the game. So World I through N are not in the demo that he has posted right now. Or in the version he has posted right now. And he says he wants to have... Uh, 113 maps. I'm guessing this is 113. A, B, C... D E F G H I J K L M N O 15 times 8. Anybody fast with their 15s times tables or 8 times tables? 120. So he has room for even more than this that you see on the screen. Oh, there's the full overview. Um, so I'm going to suggest uh, to him what I discussed before. How many does Open he have now? It. Sorry? 120. And he has room for how many? 131. So 11 so he, more. So he can add... And um, also he... There's... He actually only has 111, uh, right? Or... Yes, 112. 13. 113. 13, yeah, because he has one there. 113. So he needs to make a bunch more. So he has room for... Uh, and he has room for another... 17, I guess. Another uh, 11... So he has another row there. 17, oh, 11, so 18. I'm, I'm counting seven. as if these are done. Yeah, but yeah. they aren't. So that's why I'm just saying that yeah. there's even more, more. to be done. Yeah, there's even more available. Uh, so he can add another column. So world P plus some extra bonus ones as well. Um, so lots, or a couple bonus ones. Three more. That map says reset to restart. <laughs> it does. I don't know why it says that. That's funny. That's not much bigger. Uh, I was just looking to see if any more were like that. Like maybe that was a. I think it took a screen capture thing. when he died. Uh, okay. uh, at that point, that must be it. Yeah. These are all taken at various times. Um, oh look at that open one! Just a bunch of bats flying around. I think those mm. are bats. Those look like bats. Uh, so very cool. Um, hopefully we, I can convince him to uh, open up a... Oh, look at that. Your face is very big. <laughs> <laughs> Giant Darcy. 
Whoa, this is a reimagined breakout style for 7800. Yes, it is an awesome. Is this awesome. a reimagined breakout style um, game for 7800? No, it's no, 2600. 2600 all day today. Yep. So, uh, and then we played. Oh, let's switch over to that. Uh, and then we played Paranoid, which is an awesome breakout style game for the 2600. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and, but there's only a couple levels, so there needs to be a lot more levels added in. It plays very well. The power-ups yep. are good. You could add a laser in to the game. A That's, laser? Yeah. Um, in, uh, not Breakout, but in, um, the other one. Oh, the Arcanoid. beam flies across the... No, uh, you have the laser and the button. Well, that doesn't work with paddle, so never mind. <laughs> you need a joystick one. Or an extra button. Ah. Actually, the button... No, you, you, you don't use the button most of the time. Only to release. So you could use a laser. Um, is you get it, and you can shoot the blocks out. Ah. And it lasts for a certain amount of time. Hmm. Um, so that I, would, I would say you could add that in. Um, there's also a power-up where you skip a level. Those are super rare, though. Where it's like, oh, you're done. And it opens a little side, and you go through the side. And he goes to the next level. That's fine. But I don't think he's trying to make Arkanoid. Yeah. Because on Arkanoid, there's also little guys that float around the screen oh. that interfere. Hmm. Like you, you accidentally hit them and they kill, they get killed, but the ball comes back down again. Right. So it's very annoying. Um, it sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, but I don't know if he has the capability of doing that because of how nicely it's laid out. He might already be using up the player characters to draw the screen. Which I'm guessing he is. Um, so that doesn't need too much, just a ton of levels and maybe a couple more power ups. That would be cool. Um, he may not be even be able to do lasers because he may be using up everything. Yeah. Because he may not have any missiles left or ball left or player characters left. Yeah. Uh, so that is it for today. Uh, we are going to be back on Tuesday with um, either The Last Squadron, maybe, maybe not, most likely not. We'll probably play that next Friday. Uh, and if we don't play that, we'll be playing uh, Sirius, which is for the 7800, and another random 7800 game from the archives, if nobody puts out another update for a new one. Um, and in the future, we'll be doing this again. ZPH's unreleased favorites. Ones that haven't been done, finished, just like this. Yeah. Um, in hopes that maybe it'll spark them to take another look at it, or maybe spark something in them. It's like, oh, that's how I can finish it. Yeah. That's always the hope. So, let me just make sure. Let's go back to not full screen. Get that over there. So thanks everybody for tuning in today. Uh, thank you to JFD six two seven eight zero. That looks like a Commodore sixty four address that you go SYS to start a machine machine language program. Mm. Remember that? Having no. to type those. Sometimes you had to type that, or it would be in the basic program when you loaded a game. The only line it had in the basic program was SYS, blah, 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 blah. Ah. And that pointed your uh, instruction to start on that machine language, uh, or to start in that memory that location, oh, okay. and it would start going there. Um, and thank you to, oh, initials and birthday. Only clue I'll give. Good, because you shouldn't be giving away your birthday. <laughs> um, 1962? No. 1980? Yeah. Both are Six, plausible. 6, 27, 80. Uh, because it would, be, it, it would be June 27, 1980. That's what it would be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So now we can uh, take over your credit card. So beware. <laughs> <laughs> lurk, lurk. X Ken X, thank you for watching. Nostalgic 26, Thrust 26. He's able to come on Darcy Days. Because <laughs> it's early in the day. <laughs> uh, a Julian date. Oh, yeah. Uh, month, day, year. The worst way of expressing uh, a date. Because you can't sort it. Arr. At least not on a file name. Charles Reese, uh, RC7E. 
Uh, Alnafer, Backlog Cabin, thank you for following. Splendid Nut, thank you for making your awesome a game. Hopefully uh, you can continue on with that. Jared Gray West as well, thank you for making Spies in the Night 2. Looking forward to that being released. Uh, who else? Crossbow. I guess I thrust already. Uh, BR Pocock, thanks for subscribing. Op Bokel? Op, op, op Bokel? Yeah, that's probably how you say it. Uh, Carl G. Metalunar. Caffeman 2D. And everybody else that is lurking. And we're done for today. So make sure you tune in. Um, and make sure you subscribe and follow so you know when we're going to be showing again. Because we have 800. 45 followers on Twitch. So every time we go live, 845 people get alerted to it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And we just passed a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, a thousand YouTube subscribers. Oh, wow. So you can see there, YouTube, 1,001K. Oh. So we actually have 1,010 plus. It doesn't do uh, granular numbers anymore. That's as much as you get. Significant digits, so two significant digits. Doesn't that mean it's at least 50? Uh, for rounding? Um, it 1, would be... 1,050? No. Because 1,010 would be no. less than... That would be 1.1. 1. 1. This is 1.01. So it's... Oh, yeah. 1,010. You can move the decimal over three spots. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So it's somewhere between 1,010 and 1,019. Or 14, depending on how it rounds. True. But I think it flips over. Who knows, though? Yeah. K or K? Um, <laughs> that would be... Oh, which one's the 1,000? And which one's the 1,024? I think the small K is the 1,000. Is it? Do I don't remember. Know. Thrust will have to let us know. It's not a 1,000. It's got to be small K for a, for a kilo, right? Oh, yes, that's right. If you go kilogram, kilogram is a small K, not a big K. And yeah. Kilograms are not 1,024s. And 1,000 K, like 1 K is 1,000 kilo. Even though something. that's a big K, kilo that's count. the one it's passing on. Yeah. So It's just capitalized, but it is 1,000. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. We had uh, lots of fun games. And we will see you... Let me you. Up my, you specifically will see you on Tuesday. <laughs> 101 kilo worth of fun. Oi. A 101 <laughs> kilo worth of fun. That's, oh, that's, a, that's heavy, man. That's a lot of followers. Uh, <laughs> and so we'll see you on uh, Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. No, not thrust. Bye. <laughs>